you made it weird. <laughs> it was a vibe. I didn't start inquiring too much. <laughs> oh, you said it's our anniversary. I was like, I thought I missed something. Just, why don't you hate when you're on the outside of anniversary? Why don't you just roll? Or you just always forget anniversaries? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. Anniversaries, birthdays, all of that shit. And there's always a girl or your dad to come and feel a way that you don't remember their birthday. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I hate that. No. No. My mom was great at reminding me of birthdays. No. I started saving birthdays. I mean, that's what phone. Facebook used to be no, for. No, I don't even remember my password. So. This parks. Yeah. I started saving this birthdays on my phone. You can do that. Uh, this is a reminder. One day, y'all are going to let all of those drops play on in the round. I swear to God, one day. No, nah, I can't leave it open. Yeah, so people steal it. We're damn near two hundred and fifty. Yeah, people steal our yeah, drops. People steal that shit, man. I mean, God forbid we want to talk on a podcast. <sighs> and they steal our shit. So then you know I don't want my shit on somebody else's podcast. Yeah, someone else's mall. <laughs> <laughs> you know Who else is mall? Somebody. Somebody. There's, nobody. There's other malls out there. No, there's not. Yes, there is. There is. No, nobody. Every week on they earth. wait. They wait to rip it. That's what it's called. Rip it. Yeah, they're gonna rip, rip it. it. That's promo, no. No. Fuck you don't that. like that? No, that's copyright uh, infringement. Oh, the pop. Oh, the Word. podcast. The <laughs> podcast is back. You gotta clear that, homie. CNDs. Uh, welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode two forty three. 240, look at me on my job, on my grizzly. Uh, episode two. <laughs> grizzly. Who, who popped grizzly off? <laughs> a nigga that wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> it's always a nigga that wasn't doing nothing. Yo, Trust I've, me. I've been saying we got to get into the people that are creating the slang. Yeah. Like, the niggas that ain't doing nothing, but they're talking about. Knock it off. I'm on my grizzly. Nigga, no, you're not. Yeah, I got to be. I've never been on my grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> never. Even when it was in, I was never on that. Um, welcome to episode 243 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble and gracious host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. And Savon is here. Gentlemen, how is everyone feeling on this beautiful day? Amazing. I feel good. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah amazing. That, that might be the first I'm, amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm lying, man. I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, you, you have a Lakers hat on. You can't feel. I can't I'm, I'm, feel, period. Yeah, I'm numb. <laughs> Just numb to everything. Boy, yeah. you look nice today. I look nice every day. I hate niggas to say that. <laughs> like, don't you? But what's wrong with our people that we just can't take a compliment? No, I don't take, it's a good, it's a good I don't take compliments day. from my niggas. If I, I, if I, I, well, my niggas always feel like it's a, it's a snap but coming. It's always out. a setup. Yeah. Really Yo, you look, look nice today. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, so, but you a bum ass nigga, so it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah. ah, I'm right. getting ahead of that. So let me throw this disclaimer out there for our, our our wonderful audience. I'm a little under the weather, and this is a real bad time to be under the weather since we're about to go on the road. But I'm not really feeling the greatest. So if I sound like I don't sound like my my normal uh, luxurious self. Okay. <laughs> Not feeling luxurious no, I was, I was vocally. Agreeing with you. Vocally, mm. anyway. Mm. You look luxurious. Do the I? cool shirt. The holy ripped up cool shirt. Yeah. I don't even smoke Playoff pools. cigarettes and you smoke cigarettes. So Ooh. Mm. And it's cool. Them. Ooh, tried to match my ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> tried to match your habits and hobbies. Um, I'm a little under the weather, but that will not stop me. What was I talking about before I start talking about me being under the weather? Something uh, important. Bad I time thought. to be under the weather. Oh, yeah, because we're about to go on the road. That's really horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. And shout out to everybody. Oh, I didn't even finish. Shout out to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership. Hey. Shout out to everybody that will come out and see us on the road. This week we are in Atlanta, Tampa, uh, oh no, Atlanta, Miami, Tampa, and Orlando. So shout out to everybody in those respective cities. Uh, hey, and more looking, you do. Looking, looking look. forward to it? Tickets are still available Save in Miami. No, Savon wants y'all to know that tickets are still available. <laughs> tickets in are Miami. still available in Miami. Savon said so. And they, Savon wants y'all to come. But don't hit Savon. Just go to the ticket link. Yes, please. <laughs> please. Yo, look at Savon. He got the fresh baldy for the tour run. Mm. <laughs> oh, I ain't oh even peed my arm. The fresh <laughs> baldy. Yo, yo. Yo. Come on. Let me check you out, okay? Right, you, you, he was ready. Like, focus. They won't see a speck White of hair. White team, focus. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> focus. <laughs> so they won't see How you focus? <laughs> <laughs> the first two days. <laughs> yeah, it looked good the first two after that. Nigga yeah, yeah, start looking yeah, crazy. Like that. a dirty tennis ball in the face. <laughs> All right, uh, where, where would you uh, wait? Well, how, how's everybody doing? I only got in the mall for a good, second, man, but good, Parks, good. Roy, feeling good, feel great, man. Yeah. Eric, since everybody's feeling feel, good, yeah. feeling great, feel like it's been a little while since a, I saw a, you last. Well you rested weekend, caught up on some sleep, mm. drank some water, mm. got some protein, hydrated yourself. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah good, I feel pretty good. 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 Oh, I had some hydrogen infused uh, water. You had some okay. water infused water. Yeah, some some more. 
Some I more H two O and H two O. I didn't. H three O. You got some HBO. <laughs> Bark laughing, but he drunk all them shits. I left here. It was one. It was just six, one. It was no, six it was ounces. It was two. No, it was one. Well, I left two. Uh, so I don't know what happened to the other one. Nigga had a couples Cherzy. couples night Cherzy. with my, with my <laughs> water. Cherzy. <laughs> Cherzy got it. Um, was I about to say something important before y'all fucking interrupted me? Um, I was home drinking uh, hydrogen infused water all okay. weekend. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't budge. But this past weekend confirmed it for me that there is nowhere for the 40-year-old guy to go to be entertained. You got to go uh, to the grown and sexy parties. <laughs> Rory. <laughs> First of all, do they still have those? I'm, I'm sure, sure. I don't I'm wanna, sure they do. But there's I don't want to go anywhere with there's, there's, there's nothing if grown think, or sexy about the grown and sexy I am not going to the fucking grown and sexy. I'm not even grown or sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to a grown nah, and sexy. No, there's definitely like I'm one cool. of those like boat, yep. boat cruises on the Hudson that you could hit. No, <laughs> that's, that's trash. That's, <laughs> that might be uh, top. Oh, wait, no, I get it now. <laughs> a Rory, boat cruise Rory is terrible. Rory is shitting on us. Oh, okay. Or well, shitting on me anyway. The first time I thought he was being like helpful. Trying to help you? But uh, the boat cruise now on the Hudson. <laughs> Never going to cruise. Damn, what are, what are you doing right now, Rory? I'm joking, man. That's Just way too much commitment for me. You're That's hurting right. me. I can't commit like that. <laughs> to a boat cruise? To a cruise around the city for yeah, like three man. hours? I'll take a ferry, cool. though. Y'all don't think it's fucked up, though, that there is nowhere for the 35 and up crowd to party? Like, like back in the day, they had places for those people. Yeah, I mean, especially in New York. Then where? Then tell me. Text text me a list. I think games. Yeah, I was on Google. Poker (laughs) games. Like a poker night or something like that. Game night. Men that like cigarettes. Cigar bar. You have to exact. You have to create it. Yeah, it's not out there. You have to create it yourself. Yeah. So like somebody come over to the crib game yo, night shit like that your living is hard <laughs> <laughs> I like that type of shit I yeah, like creating yeah. I feel like I summertime like is shit. easier for y'all yeah I feel like I always see a lot more of like the older functions in the summertime like barbecue shits that be at Riverbank or something like that yeah, like barbecue at Riverbank <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out Rory of here Rory is killing Who's me going <laughs> a barbecue I, at Riverbank I go to mad barbecues at Riverbank fam I Maul, you and I have been that, to at least three Riverbank barbecues no, together Maul has summer. thrown them no we've been to one and when the sun started going down what we did we left because them rats start coming out they, it's day time to barbecue now rats <laughs> raccoons skunks nah, we, y'all got it cool. every, I feel like right every spring I come on this podcast and talk about just how much I hate the summer I hate I hate the summer. I love summer. Uh, who are you telling? Them? I hate it. Have you, you seen my? Have you seen my skin? Nice yeah, for real. But I have a nice house all other seasons. Yeah, yeah but but can... summertime you could actually enjoy the backyard, the pool. You uh, do have a pool. You know I mean? uh, please, I'll be out there. Every Niggas day. with pools don't get in the pool. I know we live. I, I, got, I got in the pool maybe four times. <laughs> maybe four times. Maybe yeah, I wasn't in that in that pool. I hate the fucking summertime. Uh, crime rate is up. Traffic that is, is up. Crime you crime you never up. see the dude that owns the pool just doing laps. No, it doesn't happen. No, you have doesn't never happen. seen somebody that owns a pool chilling in the pool. No. Yeah, it doesn't happen. That doesn't happen like that. Now, why you laugh? Because I say the crime rate is up. Because of where you live, ain't no crime rate up over there. That nigga stole my car from my driveway. What are you talking about? <laughs> in the winter, though. But that's like, <laughs> what are you yeah, talking yeah. about? That's like, but that's yeah. like you know, that's East just part East of Orange starts making their way. Yeah, that's like welcome <laughs> to the north. neighborhood. That's a welcome little welcome to I, the neighborhood. I, I, I felt I felt a little Republicanish when they they sent the pa- <laughs> paperwork and I'm like, hey, we got them. This is the court date. And I was like, ah, please <laughs> let's just show up, you piece of shit. <laughs> Hell yes, I'm testifying. Get this goon off of the street. <laughs> Get this goon out of here. Throw this goon, th- lock this goon away. You <laughs> throw f- away the fucking heat. Fucking whippersnapper <laughs> cover somebody's property. A young black kid. Throw this fucking yeah. animal in the cage. <laughs> I profiled him. He looked like a nigga that would go on your property and take your shit. <laughs> exactly. He looked like exactly yes, officer, the guy. That's definitely him. Yeah, nah, that was him. Get his ass in jail. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I didn't go. So that is up. I'm just telling y'all some of the things I think about, but no, I didn't go. I wouldn't do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why? No, nah, I'll be. Why is look- that funny though? <laughs> just Joe contemplating, looking at the summons, like mm, I could put him away. <laughs> <laughs> well, she no, I was shocked that he was even there because I mean, shit, the, the co- cops came back to me to oh, uh, we're gonna dust the car for prints and really get this sucker. And I was like, ooh, they're gonna get him now. <laughs> and the cops came back. To, we only got a partial. Wait, huh? Man, Man, if you don't get this partial shit, I seen CSI enough to know a partial ain't doing. Joe, nothing. they gonna get your fingerprints and arrest you. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Leave that. Oh, then that was the thing. It was like, well, even if we had a whole print, that don't really say you stole the car. I was like, uh, oh, all right. Hey, when they broke into uh, homeboy's car out in front of my house, he left it here overnight. He left his ID in the car. It fell out in the car, and they came and they're like, oh, but we can't really prove it. It was him. 
Doesn't. Doesn't mean that. That's crazy. Uh, Joe, in the court summons, did they mention anything about my Kith sneakers that were left in your trunk when it was stolen? No, yeah, they caught the perpetrator. He had him on his feet. Yeah, it was, it was Joe. <laughs> did he, the insur- Joe kept the sneakers. Yeah, he did the insurance them. cover any of that hundred and twenty dollars? No, it's over. <laughs> call Ronnie. You got to call Ronnie. You ain't, that. you ain't get the new uh, the new Kith frosted flakes. <laughs> First of all, cinnamon toast crunch. So watch your mouth. <laughs> you ain't get Don't the new, do that. It was you ain't cinnamon get the toast new, crunch. So watch the, your fucking the mouth. Kith raisin bran collab. <laughs> <Yeah>. Cinnamon toast. <laughs> Why you you skipped that one up? Huh? All right, wait for my Miami uh, fit. The cinnamon toast crunch kiss. Yeah. Ronnie running out of shit over here. Yeah. I went to I went to Kith uh, that day and I didn't know. Why. I was like, why is this line outside? I was like, I'm definitely not standing on line. Ooh, the trying to get the Kith. They like, no, that's for the cinnamon toast crunch. I was, I was like, I was there today. The cereal? To run. Like, <laughs> let me get away from here. I was there today and and one of the chicks behind the counter was like, oh, you do the podcast with Maul. He was just here. Oh, my my bad. bad. <laughs> hey, when chicks be snitching, right? That is more <laughs> old move to go to Soho and bag some cashier. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great move, by the way. That's more for old sure. Move. She was really cute too. Hell yeah. Maul used get to the be friends in and lids. family. Yeah, get the, the friends, friends and family. family. Gotta get the friends and family. Like, Gotta get the friends why and family. does Maul keep going in lids? <laughs> <laughs> in lids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad he went to Soho and landed on lids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lids used to be the shit in Soho. No, Maul, we had he went to the fancy lids. Yeah. <laughs> Word. You got to go where they have. Boutique TV lids. Yeah. The lids where they have fedoras. Wait, you know what's funny about that? Wait, this is what's funny. Before uh, before Kiff downtown, and this is not a New York podcast. Not, New York's not even our number one market. I don't know why y'all keep coming here and talking about New York, but fuck it, let's do it we, for two well, seconds. We live here. Before that Kiff was Kiff in Seoul down there when it was uh, Atrium. Yeah, and Atrium. Atrium used to always put like a little fine fine thing at the register. Of oh, course. Niggas used to be running in Atrium and not buy nothing. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Let those me see the these days. in the 34. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, you're not buying these. Like, stop it, man. At all. Boy, I was so mad when I walked in and it was more sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What yeah. the fuck is Stephanie? Yeah, the whole back, the whole back became <laughs> What happened store? to the chicks in the tights? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool and all that. <laughs> Um, so shout out to everybody listening, uh, and let's, let's fucking pod, man. Who's ready to pod? I'm ready to do it. Uh, where would y'all like to start? Let's start with a moment of silence, not silence, because it's a podcast, but rest in peace to John Singleton. Uh, he had a, he had a stroke. It was said that he had a stroke a week ago. Yes. And then off of the stroke, it's, they said that he was in a coma. Yeah. And I'll be honest with y'all, when I read that. You unfortunately think the worst sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Off the stroke, straight into a coma. I kind of felt like that was about to lead into the family having some decisions to make, which is always a horrible predicament. Yeah. Uh, and it was reported that a few days ago that he passed. So rest in peace to him. Trailblazer, visionary. Uh, if you don't know, long list of great, great, great movies. Classic. Classic, classic yes, films. Yeah. Classic movies. Uh, Boys in the Hood. High Learning, Poetic Justice, mm-hmm. Baby Boy. Uh, it was involved with Snowfall, right? Executive producer. Yes, yeah. Yeah. fucking Shaft. Mm. Yeah. Shaft. What What else? Come on. Uh, give me, Four give me. Brothers, um, Too uh, Fast, Too Furious, Abduction. Um, I mean, he wrote High Learning, Poetic Justice, and Boys in the Hood, and Shaft, and Baby Boy. Like, fuck directing all that's those. That's enough. Yeah. You, wrote, you wrote all of those mm-hmm. and then directed them. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, he was uh he definitely was a, one of our visionaries in our culture that put a lot of people in position in Hollywood. Youngest, you know I, mean? I think yeah. he was the youngest director ever nominated for a, a film of the year. Yeah, he was twenty four. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, well he is twenty four I mean, when he made Boys in the Hood. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. He, well, he died at fifty one, and and you hear that, and that's extremely young. Yeah, very much. Especially to just have a just have a stroke and yeah, no, no, super super sad news, super sad news. Uh, on the heels of the Nipsey shit, it's just like yeah. a lot. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a lot of yeah. a lot of loss of of very influential people. So mm-hmm. our hearts are heavy today. Rest in peace to John Singleton. Uh prayers and condolences to his family, his friends, his loved ones, as well as his fans, uh the entire uh actors, actresses, guild, whatever that whatever that's called, everybody mm-hmm. in Hollywood. Huge, mm-hmm. huge monumental loss. Yeah. Uh with the passing of John yeah, Singleton. Man. Big super big in Pac's acting career too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we really would have got Pac as the vulnerable actor without John Singleton either. Mm-hmm. 
So he's he's definitely launched some careers outside Ice Cube. of just done amazing movies. Tyrese, Ice Cube, yeah. He was also the first African American to be uh, nominated for Film of the Year, director. Yeah, Trailblazer in every sense of the word. Yeah. Yeah, All right, come peace, on, give man. it to me. Your favorite John Singleton movie. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ooh. Don't be sad. Give it to me. Uh, Boys in the Hood. Definitely. Easy. Mine, easy. Mine too. Easy choice. Very easy. I'm yeah. Go different. I go, uh, I go Baby Boy. Shut up. You're lying. I love Baby Boy. Baby Boy cannot be your favorite John Singleton movie. It could be. It's a great movie. Come on. Mm-hmm. It is. Tell me more. Why, why, why are you so blown away by that movie? Because it's it, a good movie, but I mean. Because yeah. of the way he, he told the story of young black men. That may be trying to find themselves and find their way, that are still living at home, may have a kid, like just going through the hood, trying to just trying to find a way to make it and make uh, ends meet. You know what I mean? And the things, the trials and tribulations, the decisions they have to make, shit they go through. I think he told it from a very honest and very fun perspective. It was like that's I, I know that I know that story. I've seen that story. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But and it was, he was the first one to really put it out there like that from our lens. Well, nothing for me to, you know, I can't, nothing for me to argue with you uh, about with that. Because that's seemingly what he did extremely well was tell stories, uh, even with Boys in the Hood. Mm -hmm. Uh, It made me, as a Queens kid, be able to kind of feel and understand some of what that was like on a whole different coast that I had no idea I would even ever visit one day because that's how young I was. But, uh that story. He was yeah, he was great at that. He he took me to LA before I ever went yeah, to LA. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. And just I had no I I left that movie asking a lot of cuz I went to see that movie with my mom and whoever she was with at the time, Snake probably. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Snake is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the saying, that's Snake is hilarious. But, snake. My, but see, I don't like coming in and get vulnerable cuz y'all won't do <laughs> no, it. No, y'all won't tell me your no, mom's you friend's just, name that was your no, uncle you just, or your godfather. <laughs> my I mom said was somebody it, along, on, along the lines of Snake. It was a nickname like that. or something. Come on, give me something. Did a little stretch Lonnie. somewhere in the Midwest and all that. Yeah. Did a little stretch somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. <laughs> Funny shit. I always see Snake when I'm going to pay, pay my child support and shit. Snake. <laughs> like, oh, shit, Snake. <laughs> Shout out to Snake. You got to find out his real name. <laughs> like, we I know his real name. No, so call him his real name. We can call but him. I never called him his I'm real name. I'm not calling no grown man Snake. But why? That's my nigga. Nah, I'm not doing nah, that. That's my man. nigga, man. Yeah, you nah, just nah, Come on, do that by my mom. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said, <laughs> I, just said <laughs> I don't want to call a grown man Snake. I just, something ain't right. And about my mom that. said she called you last week and you ain't returned a call. Did she? I've got to call Monster tomorrow. See? I didn't know she called me. Uh, but John, John Singleton. <laughs> but before, before Snake, what happened? <laughs> when we talk about our favorite John Singleton movies. You guys talk about Boys in the Hood and how it took you. Yeah, to he, the coast he, he he told the, the story of L.A. Before I, I like I said, I ever went to L.A. I felt like I had been to L.A. Oh, yeah, just that's watching what I was his saying, movies because I mm. went to the movies with my mom and whoever at the time. And mm-hmm. yeah, he was telling that story of just I was so unaware of the relationship between like cops and blacks. Yeah, and. They did a real good job telling that story, and I left that movie theater asking a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember that vividly. Uh, to write higher learning. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we felt that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He told that story rather well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did that pretty good. All and right, he, I won't, I won't knock your, your baby boy pick there. Yeah, he was great at that. I'll even go just, just more my generation. I've always thought Four Brothers was super slept on. The way I he, love that movie. The way yeah. he shot Detroit and... Quiet is kept. The soundtrack on that movie mm-hmm. is Amazing. fucking flawless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like he murdered that whole Motown gritty feel with that movie. Mm-hmm. Like in a easy to digest commercial type way, because right. you had Mark Wahlberg and mm-hmm. Andre 3000, and so you, you had a people you had to, you know, had other audiences to look for. But he smoked Four Brothers. I always say that's such an underrated movie. It is. It's it underrated is. Movie. I like that movie. It's a lot. Underrated movie. Oh man, good to see the uh, again though. And he, not to cut you off, he was executive producer my favorite show at the moment, Snowfall. Mm. So that's you know what I mean uh, again. It's, that's a great show. We mentioned yeah. that earlier. Now that show comes back soon, July. Yeah. Uh so we'll be able to see what he was working on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I think so many people bit everything off Shaft. Mm-hmm. Like there's so there's many another Shaft coming at, to like, it. Was it's he, just it, everything was bit off what John Singleton started. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he he laid down a a new blueprint. He showed uh, you know, film film writers and directors a new way of of capturing, you know, images and movies and and telling a story. And um but that's the that's the 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 great thing about it is 
he left behind such an amazing legacy that I'm sure it's inspired a lot of young black film. I'm sure Ryan Coogler is a John Singleton, I'm sure, you yeah. know, protege or, you know, has had conversations with John Singleton. And now he's Jordan Peele definitely comes yeah. to mind when I when I when we sit here and talk about uh, uh, John Singleton's gift and ability to tell tell a story and yeah. just yeah. conceptually for filmmakers. Uh, he was like their their Jordan. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For, for for black kids, he's like their their mic for, for young filmmakers. That you have to look up to John Singleton if you're into filmmaking and writing as a young African American. So I mean, you know, again, he left behind an amazing legacy, and you know, rest in peace. But his work definitely lives on. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Boys in the hood for me, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So from from one trailblazer to the next, Rory and myself attended the B sides concert. Mm-hmm. Without Maul, Maul was too Hollywood to come with us. No, we we Hollywood. assumed he was behind like the drummer or the bass player the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we thought we you were still. You we, was thought, in there. we thought you were still there, man. Nah, we thought you was on there. stage. I felt like I was there. Everybody else was there. <laughs> it was a lot of people there. Yeah, it was a lot of people there. Um, but shit sold out in fucking two seconds. So I guess I mean, yeah, it, it we was knew that Hove and Webster Hall. Right. And I get it that that was the reopening of Webster Hall, but. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that show in a bigger venue. Yeah. More, well, he, more, I mean, I like the intimacy seating. of it because it's B-sides. Like, let's keep it a small stage. Anything under 5,000 people is going to be intimate with intimate That's with v- very yeah. true. Yeah. Very true. I mean, but this was even smaller because he did Terminal 5, I think, for the first one, which is probably double the size of that ballroom in Webster Hall. Right. So this was even more felt like Hove at SOBs almost. Mm. Like, how close you were, even if you were in the back of the room, Mm. To hove on that small ass stage mm-hmm. with a full band, like it just it didn't look normal. Yeah, but in a good way. They had the entire block blocked off. Police couldn't drive up or down it. Mm-hmm. Uh, very secure space. Everything as I would expect with a, a concert of that magnitude. Uh, I just thought it was a bar that he the passes were real money. <laughs> that was crazy to me. That was not real money. It was. Well, the pass I had wasn't real money. <laughs> You sure? You yeah, might want to check sure. that again. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure. I just spent that nine. <laughs> they, had, they, had, they had the crib. They had the crib, but not the passes I have are real money. Oh, and the passes that I saw was real. It was real twenty dollar bills. Oh, see, mine that might have been like the cooler five. backstage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that was crazy. Man, I was like, five. I was laughing at that <laughs> shit. Like, yo, this is the the pass is real money. Like, okay, I hear that. That's some different type shit. Yeah, no, very, some very rich, different. Some rich shit. Yeah, um, pretty much. The, li- the live band looked great back there. Uh, yeah, 1500 or this- nothing. I want to shout I mean, Oh, is that what that was? But yeah, I just want to make sure oh. they, are, they are shouted out. 1500 or nothing. Smoke that shit. Grew, Hove does all great them. at going to get like the right people. Yeah. yeah. Well, the right people want to get with Hove. Yeah, easy. But he's worked with 1500 for a long time. Yeah. Like, that's not their first time. I know, together. but it makes sense. It makes just, all that, the sense. That in the makes world. all the sense in the universe that that's fifteen hundred. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, them them just going from doing arenas with him and, and them and Guru and all them trying to get the sound right in there. That was one of the most crisp. And I've thrown a lot of shit in Webster Hall. Right. That some of y'all have been to. It don't sound that great. Yeah. Yeah. That shit sounded perfect in mm-hmm. there. Well, I was I was looking at the setup just because you got to pay attention to details, and it looked different from the normal setup. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like some added shit going on yeah. in Wait, the sky. You mean yeah. it wasn't the same setup from Duce Palooza? No. No. no <laughs> really? No. Or, or, or whole different, different, whole different so? production team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whole, different, whole, different, whole different production setup. Really? Yeah, yeah whole different Damn. vibe. Yeah. I didn't even think. But the sound did sound. <laughs> I didn't even think. Who would never know? The sound did sound really, really good. Yeah, very, very crisp. You could um, tell every, every single instrument was leveled to fucking perfection. Hmm. I got to say, he smoked that set list. I hmm. got to be honest. He smoked that set list. Because I was think, go, judging off the first B-side list, I looked at that on our way to the venue, and I was like, all right, he's going to have to dig if he wants. Because he did real B-sides at that first one. He's going to have to dig to like S. Carter collection shit at this point. And them shits was like C-sides. Hmm. I don't know how he knew the lyrics to that. I don't care how much time he had prior. You're well, a machine to remember that specific set list of things you've never performed. Well, I mean, when you, you know, when you write songs, I mean, it doesn't take, I mean, I'm sure Joe can attest to that. You take about two or three days and you, you pretty much, it comes to Freshen you. Freshen up. Yeah. Muscle memory kicks in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you, if you spit that once in your whole life, is that still muscle memory? 
Yeah. Like I'm asking. I would assume. Is, so. is there songs like if there was a freestyle, a clue freestyle that you had, would it still have muscle memory? No. That's why I think this is insane. Like well, you can well, always think, think of a you... record you perform mad times. Of course, muscle memory will kick in then. But if it's some shit that you did one off real quick, this was one time I'm never performing something. it again. It was some of them <laughs> records that he was performing that I thought to myself, I would judge you if you don't know the words to this. Hmm. But, like, you, but if he skipped a beat in Allure, I would have looked at him totally different. Oh, I don't count Allure on there. <laughs> yeah, no, Allure he's performed uh, plenty of times. Well, like the records I wanted to hear, like even if she somehow, came out some to way, him, I don't think he's ever performed that. He should know that one. But still, if he's if we go by one take, Hove, he spit it once in his life. He's never I, spit wait, it again. Wait, wait, hold up, Rory. I never believed one take Hove when he said it. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you didn't. Do you, you know, like, all right, I'm, I'm not doing this. <laughs> no, I, I've seen him spit a verse without stopping, but not saying that he doesn't. He he doesn't. He doesn't there do it all we, the time. There we go. No, no, no. He doesn't there do it all that, the time. That's all, that's I've all. definitely seen him spit thirty to forty balls. Okay, I'm sure Hove's even, punched in once okay. or twice. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> One punch Hove. <laughs> Six punch Hove. Okay, but even even if you Hove did just is do- the nigga that came and made punching seem whack, right? With that, with that one take Hove. What do you mean one he take? Def- yeah, I'm gonna punch said, in after these four bars. Fuck is you talking about? And I'm gonna write it down. Yeah, because I forget it. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. Well, no, I'm saying even if it is just one night that you spit that how many times you punched in I still think that's amazing oh, still it's definitely, it's I definitely. think there's no give muscle me, memory give there. us give us some more of the set list for the people who were unable to attend there was a lot of songs right it was 20 something songs yeah, yeah. Um, I can run through it quick uh, some people hate don't you know uh, come and get me oh my he did come and wait stop stop, yeah, stop, stop, stop. some of this stuff he took off my list <laughs> <laughs> oh the one that you sent him 100% because he said sure enough these songs they know my list Come yeah. and get me wasn't on it. Fam, I almost lost my mind when Come and Get Me came on. I didn't have a fedora on. I didn't have a fedora on. But man, I had to look nuts in there. But everybody was like that. That's why, more whatever you heard uh, what's happening about mice, like, I can't be mad. I can't be mad at anybody being in that building and reciting shit word for word, mm-hmm. like being fanned out. Fam, I was in the back upstairs with my eyes closed Look with my head in the sky, rapping words mm-hmm. with a cup in my hand, chilling, having a blast. Well, I wasn't yeah. even looking. I I couldn't see the stage, and I didn't want to see the stage. <laughs> yeah. Well, me and uh, me and Biggs was talking Saturday night, and you know it's always it's always fun to hear him talk about it because he was there from the beginning. And he's still in awe of a lot of shit that Jay does, and he was saying he was like, you know, it's 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 crazy because you don't he doesn't get to be a fan like Biggs is never really a fan and that was like one of the first nights where he was like in the crowd and he just wanted to experience it with the with the crowd mm. and he said he was like yo Hove is he's our Frank Sinatra like he, oh, he 100% Hove is, he'll be 50 years old in December right and he's mm. he's still as sharp as he is he's still as innovative as he is he's 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 brought the culture 25, 30 years with him mm-hmm. and his audience has now grown and they have kids and they probably have grandkids mm-hmm. and he's still the top dog. Like, you know, we talk about Jay a lot on this podcast but it's because... Wait, let, me, let me not cut you off but I think, I think it was me and you. Six years ago, we was having a conversation about uh, Jay being the first 50-year-old rapper to drop an album and people want to hear it. Mm-hmm. Like, people want to yeah. hear him rap. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So now here we are, he's about to be 50. <laughs> And, and it still it's, it still feels like he's and thirty five, and, and doing it in the correct way because hip hop's so young. This is really the first rapper, and no disrespect to the other older rappers, that we've seen age so gracefully and give us a blueprint, no pun, on how to age and rap. Because we've seen how exactly. the rock and roll artists how they mm-hmm. age. All right, they just gonna do a world tour. Mm-hmm. They'll put out six greatest hits records, mm-hmm. then maybe slip one in. Mm-hmm. We've never seen hip hop age. And let right. me let me jump in before y'all listen to Rory and get fucked. Y'all don't all have to watch Hove and do it that way. No, of course there, not. There are a million other great yes. older rappers that you could watch and emulate and add some shit to. That's why. Oh, that's I, not what I was saying at all. The, no, no, I, I know you weren't. I just didn't want other people to, to uh, misconstrue some shit. No, no, no. Of course not. Um, yeah, that set list he smoked. I was up there having a fucking blast. He didn't skip a beat on the words. Uh. And then you brought out Cam and Jim. Oh my Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Just Cam showing, showing growth, you know. Like we we grown, we grown now. All of that shit is it's in yeah, the past. That, that man. specifically felt great for New York because I felt like that was the last one left, yeah. kind of with our older beefs. Yes. Was Cam and Jay? And oh God, I I love the fact that he finally addressed the '92 brick shit. 
Now everybody can shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I'm so glad he like, did what that. He said? that. That was like typical Jay shit. Like, the, letting us know that he pays attention to the, the internet freestyle. and the memes and yeah, see what's going yeah. on. I, I hear y'all talking, like, and now y'all can shut up. Like, this is what happened. It was only $1,000 off each that I lost. So it's 92000 That wasn't shit. Shut the fuck up now. Well, that to was some great. of us, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Well, I understand. A lot of people was like, nah, that means he lost a million dollars. Like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. That I like dope. the fact that he addresses things. Like, oh my god! Could, and, and the way he does it, and even the nip shit, uh, that was <laughs> that was beautiful. I mean, just you know, his way of, of paying homage to to nip. I well, mean, that was just dope. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly get in the rest of the before we got into the nip shit because that, okay. that caused some controversy. I wasn't sure if there was anything else on the set list. I thought the Nas well, shit. Look at Rory improving with the segues. <laughs> Hold up, Maul, because that caused a stir of controversy. <laughs> <laughs> a stir. <laughs> hey, I see you, my guy. You heard him? I'm letting him cook. Nah, Listen, like, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, nigga. Read that shit. Yeah, do your thing. Let me shut the uh, fuck up. The Nas shit, which I think they have this wrong. I don't think it was just Success World is yours, Dead Press. They have Dead Press 2. He definitely spit Dead Press 1 um, in there. And I feel like... I thought that was me spitting that shit in there. <laughs> I, I'm sure I, it'd be on time. I ain't here holding it all. I was killing that. That Nas back and forth shit with a band mm-hmm. was insane. Like yeah. The fact that you got that cue every time for those transitions as a full band was mm. nuts. And uh, um, Biggs was telling me something. He rhymed. Uh, did he spit Nas's verses and Nas spit Jay's verses? Or no, over they flipped Nas's it. Beats? They, they put, he would spit Dead Prez on, if I remember correctly, World Is Yours. Okay. And then he would spit Got it. World Is Yours on Dead Prez. Well, Got it. Whatever. It kind of kept going back and forth, so I can't say they did the full thing on there. Yeah, it was great. But the band just kept switching back and forth. Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was I'm great. sure it'll be on title soon. I'm sure they'll. Have yeah, I was looking for it. Soon. <laughs> there was a lot of lot of cameras, a lot of big cameras up on that balcony. Uh, so I'm I sorry. can't assume that this is not going to be something on Somewhere. Netflix yeah. <laughs> at this point. Oh yeah, Homecoming Part Two. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Hey, man. Mossy you ain't, ain't got to give me the sixty. I'll take the forty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll bust yeah. down. You know, Hove coming in on the back end with some slick yeah. shit. No, for sure. Yeah, nah, give, me, once... give me forty-five. I have B do a walkthrough. Yeah, <laughs> a, a, walk, a walk throughout the office. Yeah, <laughs> come take pictures with you. But now, once like. I saw it wasn't on title um, as like a, a live stream, like the first one, I was like, all right, they yeah. definitely saving this for HBO. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maul is so lucky I didn't come to the club that night. What night? <laughs> that, that when you was on the couch with Beyonce and Ovi. You oh. are lucky. Why? Fam, who was in there that was going to have the jokes that I was going to have? But, but Rory, was, Rory was there. He was I, where I was but, standing was absolutely necessary. It was like super tight, super packed. That's not. I didn't say. I just said who in there was going to have the type of jokes that on I would have had in that predicament. On me, stupid ass me, want to be in the car taking us getting some Z's. I'd have lit your ass up. <laughs> I mean, I'd have lit what, your man? ass up I on mean, that I was, couch. Well, yeah, I was standing there. Well, it was a lovely evening. We had a, we had a really good time. Yeah. To my fucking god! <laughs> I was chilling, bro. I was I was trying to be in the cut as much as possible. It cut. wasn't possible over there. You were you were in the cut like a band aid. <laughs> Roy, you want to tell us about the stir of controversy that was out there? If I may. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that fucking. Can you, can you zoom in on Roy? Let's uh. Can you zoom in on Rory a little bit? <laughs> First of all, Man, I always want to zoom in on Rory a little bit. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Fine. All right. Fine. So yeah, I, I yeah, have the that. I have the freestyle on the zoom. I got yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool. Man. That's nasty, like that. Y'all nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to zoom in on Rory. <laughs> All right, let's listen to the controversy. <laughs> hey, baby, okay, okay. I like that bass. Gentrify your own hood, but these people do it. Claim eminent domain and have your people moving. That's a small glimpse into what Nipsey was doing. Anybody still confused as to what he was doing? The neighborhood designed to keep us trapped. They red lined it so property declines if you live by blacks. They depress the asset and take the property back. It's a ruthless but a genius plan, in fact. So now we fighting over scraps. Crabs in the barrel, but crabs don't belong in the barrel. They ain't never tell they us never that. never told you that. Hey. So <laughs> when the barrel, we gon' act like we act. We can easily get out the barrel if we stand on each other's back. Whoever gets on top, as long as they stay attached, they can pull everybody out. I was doing just that. I told neighborhood nips to stay close. To hundred million dollars on your schedule, lay low. Tell your team to be on point in the places that they go. I never dreamed to get killed in the place that he called home. How we gon' get in power with you the sauce? 
Y'all like to run off on the plug. So of course, he smoked that line. Now they lit, that's a means to an end. Me and my team was playing the plug ahead of plan. Sometimes we's only making a thousand a joint. That ain't no money, but that ain't big point. So those 92 bricks was only 92 thou. So y'all can close your mouth. It ain't nothing for y'all to wow. Ooh, stop wowing. But it is something to study. Ooh. We was chasing our goals, not chasing money. Ooh. Niggas chasing hoes, we find that funny. Ooh. I pull up in the rows, that hoe gon' want me. It's true. But I don't want no hoe, I want a wife. Somebody to bounce these ideas off at night. Oh, that's true, man. I be going to sleep hoping they'd visit me. That young king had a lot of jewels to split with me. And we ain't gotta leave the hood physically. But we gotta leave that shit mentally. Somehow, some way, we gotta make it up out the hood. Come on, this nigga talk about? You got to leave that shit mentally. What you mean? What you, you, at least mentally. I'm not in the hood mentally, nigga. What you talk about? This nigga's crazy. He smoked that. Yeah, I liked it. What was the yeah, controversy? They ain't going to call us dick riders, but he smoked it. Of course they are, for this whole segment. Uh, Parks, the controversy on Twitter was, from what I saw, and correct me if I'm wrong, him using the word gentrify, and we should gentrify our own hoods, uh, which... Led me to believe that some people don't know the definition of gentrify. No, don't no, don't finish the controversy first. Don't get in the defense mode. Well, what what was the rest of the controversy? Well, it was that uh, in association to his part in the Barclay Center. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and the uh, displacement and disenfranchisement of however many families, black families. So what people were saying was great that you get on stage now and you get on your albums now and it's black, 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 black. But that wasn't the case when you were down with the whatever developmental investment team that was doing uh, the Barclays. Now, that's 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 how I understood it anyway. Yeah. And I mean, while I'm not not a Brooklyn native, I, I certainly saw the changes when Barclays went under construction and right. how that entire neighborhood change but and this i'm not making excuses just that whole section of brooklyn closest to the water and then started just moving east you know i i do see their point there and ho being you know very instrumental in getting that building up and what it is that neighborhood so yeah i, I can see so their now, side their side how instrumental was he in doing that um i think we I give like Hove a, a lot more credit for the brooklyn nets than is on paper yeah, there's no disrespect to Hope, but didn't he own like a fraction of a percent or something? Three percent or some shit? No, it was a fraction of a percent. It was like I a thought it was one or something crazy, I thought. Well, he still owns the seats. Well, that's, but that's the other part of the argument that I didn't really understand, and I just assumed I was too stupid to get it. But that that uh, that percentage that, that he owned isn't enough to Yeah, it sounds like he was kind of a just voice. a celebrity face. He was the face, but yeah. that's part of their beef. Right. Is that you were used yeah. as the face right. to displace X amount of black families. I'm not from Brooklyn. I don't know what was going on down there. Yeah, I don't know same. what was happening. Uh, what I do know, because something similar is occurring in Jersey City at the moment and has been for a little bit. Quite some time. Uh, is that a lot of these houses during, during, during this, whatever you want to call it, gentrification, uh -huh. They knock on your door and they offer you a lot more than your house is worth. Yeah. And then you're left with a decision to make. Right. So I don't know how much of that was occurring down there because I don't know how many houses were there in the first place. Uh, they tell they 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 say in the well, in the well, print it was a light a uh, little used uh, light rail. Yeah, but also Joe, outside of people just knocking on your door to to buy your property. They would they would go to a lot of landlords and people that own the actual buildings and they would pay them off in turn kicking out the people that had been there for years paying rent. So you're mm -hmm. putting people out in the street and it wasn't their decision because whoever owned the building said, yeah, I'll take that bread. Even though these people have been living here for generations, they've been paying rent for 80 years in this building and they was kicking them out. So it's a little further than just. OK, I get it. Like you just sold. Now you kicking people out that have been there forever, but they just been renting. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't their choice. Now they on their ass. Right. But isn't that what gentrification is? Yeah. 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 No, that is That's part of it. Yeah. A major part That's of it. That's the major part of what yeah. gentrification is. Yeah. So the part I get lost in is when black people act like white people own gentrification. 
when black people act like white people own gentrification? What do you mean? They haven't. They other. We can gentrify. <laughs> I don't think we can though. Sure, we can. Why we can't? Because we don't really own much. Well, you have and we don't really have capital, and we don't really we can't go into a Jewish neighborhood and buy up property. Yeah, because. I can speak for, for We Brooklyn. can't go to Bensonhurst and buy a property. Specifically, like when the immigrants. That's, good. That's going to lead me to what black people spend their capital on. But I totally disagree with you that we don't have capital. Actually, I think if you look it up, that we probably have quite quite a bit of capital. You should look that up. Well, but I think to, it's, I to, think it's not in, housing. Maybe the, not in comparison to some of the right. other groups. Right. But are you saying that black people are unable to gentrify for those reasons that you just named? Well, well, gentrify because because then you then you doing exactly what I'm me, saying. I ate. no gentrify to me means that we go into a community and start buying up everything that's not our community, and I don't think that enough of us have capital enough. Well, to you're do saying that. that's not our community, but shit, a, a lot of us don't own the shit in our community, which is why we can't so, be mad when somebody comes and buys up the property. So it don't have to be necessarily in another community. We could buy up the shit where we are, and that's what that verse is. Hinting but that wouldn't be gentrifying. Tendency. I don't think that. No, sure. I mean, no, no, the, yes, it is. Because the definition, gentrifying. Yeah, let's look it up. The definition yeah. of gentr- uh, gentrification is the process in renovating and improving a house or district. That's it. So that it conforms to a middle class taste. Man, it's raising the property value. That's all it is. Oh, well, then. But, yeah. but that's to, not but a, to the that's housing not a thing. White, I guess we can gentrify. That's not a white specific <laughs> thing, even though the system may be set up with a lot of advantages to white people but black people have has have always had to fight against everything in the universe so that's nothing new for me and that is what he's saying in the verse but i think a lot of that buying property is dealing with the banks real estate and you know it i don't i, I don't i think it'll be harder for black people as a whole to go to Mall, these banks everything is harder for a yeah, black well, person that's what i'm saying it's so for us to gentrify is a lot tougher than one 100 percent skewed certainly 100 percent no, no, no argument for me, mm-hmm. but doable. Yes, and possible. Yes, maybe for a small percentile of people. Yes, but very much so. Absolutely. As he speaks to what Nipsey was doing mm-hmm. in his hometown, and that's Jay's hometown, Brooklyn. But again, I'm not from there, so I can't really speak to the essence of how Brooklyn natives feel about mm-hmm. that move. But can y'all, y'all speak, y'all speak to that? Y'all speak to how y'all feel about Jay's verse now versus his role in whatever uh, happened with the investment group in, in Brooklyn and Barclays. I think, well... Do you feel I, like it's related? Um, Do you feel like maybe Hove was on that, realized some things, uh, abandoned ship, and, you know, is now telling us about the lessons he's learned? Yeah, I'm sure if yeah. he was only getting yeah. 0.01% of the profit, he'd probably look back at it now and say, damn... And I mean, in, in the story of OJ, it, it is only a little tiny line, but him saying, I could have bought a property in Dumbo for $6 million, now that shit is worth whatever. I think Hove, like everyone else from that environment and neighborhood, had to learn. He had to know what the fuck was going on during it. So yeah, he may have made a mistake on his way with the Barclays Center, if how much influence he had with that. But yeah, you can come back on your mistakes. I think he, I think that, that bar, the Brooklyn Nets thing, I think he saw it as an opportunity to do something positive for the neighborhood of Brooklyn, but didn't factor in that it was going to affect some of the people that had lived yeah. there for so many years and, it, you know, affect them in a negative way. Like, they were going to have to move. They couldn't afford yeah. where they were at anymore. So I think he kind of didn't want to be a part of that, and so he kind of backed out of it. Um, and a lot of it, too, was probably just because I, I think they didn't they change ownership. I think the Nets went through like they some did. ownership yeah, changes. I'm sure so they he, did. it was probably a new group that came in that he wasn't a part of. That is true. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it, I mean, it's business shit that we're not privy privy to. But I mean, it's, a lot of it was business. But I do think a lot of it too was he saw that the community as a whole was kind of like, nah, we not feeling this like that. You know what I mean? And and he's he's a he's a man of the people. So I think that definitely played a part in it. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, back back to what you were saying, Joe. Um, as far as the, the, the capital conversation and things of that nature, it, it was tough to begin with. Just I'm thinking just from immigrant status from my family coming in. Immigrants from Europe were able to buy up all the property in New York City from rip. Like the Irish, the Italians, Germans, et cetera, et cetera. We were able to buy all the property in Brooklyn, in Queens, in the Bronx, and it stayed that way. So while black people moved into all these neighborhoods, 
white people still owned it. They just didn't live there. So that's where this gentrification thing, it's still white people and white people doing it. It's They're just talking with each other and they're kicking the black people out in the process who have been in that neighborhood for over 100 years and have the culture of that neighborhood and made it what it is. So while, yeah, I see what you're saying with the capital part, it is still white people and white people just talking to each other and buying that shit up. Like, it's the white person that lived in Long Island that their great-great-grandfather lived in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And they just own that building now. It's like, I've been, I've been trying to get rid of this shit. Thank God, give me that a million dollars. Kick everyone out of that shit. So while I, I see what you're saying with the capital, and I do agree there, it's different because it is still white people dealing with white people. You right. can't play both sides of the fence. You can't agree with what I'm saying and say it's white people dealing no, with white I, people. I, yeah, but it's, the, it's well, tough you, to buy that saying, shit now because the, the property value is so insane now that it don't matter your race. That's a lot of fucking money to try to now buy it up. I know. I, I, I tend to think people get distracted by race often at times because this country moves on money and race. Yes. But yeah. money's important, too. If it's a white person without no money, they got a name for that, too. White yeah. trash? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say yeah. there's, there's a lot of poor white people out there. Yeah, one one hundred percent. So I mean, that ain't racism. <laughs> no, and we ain't give y'all that name. No, I'm, I'm only speaking. I can only speak for what I know. Black people can't call New York y'all. City. Well, and, and and with our history, this country's history can't call white people. But trash. isn't a lot of isn't a lot of like gentrification? Isn't it based on like I think like people have to vote on like approving certain things like. Yeah, that's part if of you it. Want to, like yeah. real yeah. estate projects, all that like, zoning and stuff like that comes yeah, to a vote. I, I feel like there's so much red tape that African Americans have to go through. But that's it. Still is it still is racism Man, because y'all of are like hopeless. No, I'm not hopeless. I'm I'm being I'm a y'all, realist. Y'all sound, y'all sound that way. No, no, no I'm being a realist. Well, yes, I'm, I'm, capitalism. I'm, I'm, yes, <laughs> there's all the red tape right. in the world to get through. Yes, Rory, white people are still running shit in the majority of places. I think that bo- all of that still comes back to. We still are able to gentrify. Oh it's no, I'm more, not saying I'm, I'm not saying we're not able to. I'm just saying that I know that they would make it very difficult. Which is like not that's life for a black person. Yeah. They make no, no, that's, everything. That's, diff- that's all. Fam, I'm I was out. just oh, reading. I was just reading. Uh, I was just reading about how fucking uh, Ice Ice Cube is trying was trying to buy some television network. Him and Will Smith and Snoop and and somebody else. Some, a lot some of, a lot Denzel. Of, a lot of African Americans uh, with money. Yeah, they shut it down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is still America. <laughs> but that's yeah. but that's all I'm saying is that it's very difficult for us to gentrify because yeah. But that's like telling me the sky is blue. Everything is difficult for us. But, that, well, we, we no, can, but that's we, all I'm saying. I'm not saying I, was speaking, I was speaking more to the property value that's been risen now. When we bought property, it was not what New York City is now. So it was cheaper, and we'll we'll sell it for less money because we bought it for pennies. So for black people to buy back the community now with the property value in let's go with Brooklyn because that's what we're talking about it's triple what it was and on top of that there is racism and it is black people so America is not going to want to go with it it's fucking nuts how much you'd have to pay to buy back the neighborhood now fucking insane shit have you ever looked at trying to buy property in New York (laughs) I have that shit is unreasonable and New York Thank, fucking property th- tax. Thankfully, the way to hundreds and thousands of millions and billions and trillions is in your phone. Mm-hmm. This is not the old guard anymore where we were just forced to operate in the confines that the government provided. Mm-hmm. That's not what's happening. And if you just look out in the world, you know, I talk a lot I've been talking a lot about tech versus the government, and this is why. They mm. are going to try to find some order in it. Mm. And at some point, listen, it's, it's not a, all that. And it wasn't no mistake a few, a few months, years ago. Hey, we should charge for the Internet. They keep, they keep trying to. We should charge for whatever they were saying. What yeah, they the saying? That, the net neutrality. Man, if you get yeah. the fuck out yeah. of here, they're going to keep <laughs> trying to come up with something to stop you niggas out there from getting in your phone and just doing whatever you want to do. This is not free will out here. Yeah. This is a fucking dictatorship. Yeah, I agree. But, yeah, we can get in our phone. They can't, the nigga, high school dropouts, you think they want me making some money? No, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. Nobody, listen, black ball, it's me. So, I mean, y'all, y'all know my story. No, yeah, I get it. Guess what? You can't stop it no more. 
Right. I mean, uh, again, I understand. You think that. gangbanger Nip is the nigga that they wanted with some money to even be able to have investors, no, and I, your word means something to go get with some niggas with some money? It ain't even about us having money now. Niggas could go get with some niggas with money. Guess what? Everybody has money now. Not everybody, but yes, I I, I know what you're saying. Of course, not everybody. Right. But see, when saying. you don't have money, you make the mistake of thinking you just need some money. Right. When you get some money, you realize. Oh, everybody got money. It ain't really about the money. It got to be something else, too. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a lot more. It's yeah. definitely a lot more than just money. Um, that was Relationships off on, are very important. That was, that, was, uh, that was off on a tangent. Uh, a good one. But there's a way. Let me just say that. There's a way. There yes. 100% is. I was just trying to explain what the climate is but at, let's, in let's, 2019. That's all I was trying a, to explain. Of course there's a way. But let's give a and little... I'm not trying to be that negative. Let's offer it. some hope. Then let's sound... Yeah. Then let's, let's sound like... I like, I like that, Joe. Let's sound yeah. like we offering some hope. Yeah. Hey, we very aware of where we are and the conditions and what's going on and the climate. Well, like, we, we know. We have a podcast, so I was trying to give what the other I mean, side they, is they, and what, what it is right now. A, a, a great way of accomplishing that is together. You know what I mean? Like, if we come together. Like, if we come together, there's nothing we can't do. But that's the difficult part, is getting people to come together on one accord and say, okay, we're going to build back up our own communities. We're going we're gonna to spend money in our own communities. We're not going to outsource and go to these different neighborhoods and spend money there. Like, no, we're going to support your business. I'm going to go up the block and support his business and people that look like me. And then we're going to build up our buildings. We're going to keep our buildings looking a certain way, our streets, our neighborhoods. Like, if we do it together, I mean, there's nothing we can't do. But that's the hardest part of all of this is getting together on one page. Mm. You know what I mean? And and that's why when you have examples of people that are doing it like a nip or like Hove that are doing things, it's like you got to look at that and say, okay, I may not have the money and, you know, the relationships and the capital that Jay-Z has, but I can do my part in my community. I can support my community. You are absolutely right, Maul. That's why, you know, it goes unsaid here. But for me, it's very important that this podcast has two black dudes and two white dudes. Mm -hmm. Like we don't speak about it often, but it's important that all sides are represented. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important in all the different types of conversations we're having. Like it's important. And even the fact that, that, that we're fucking friends and we kick it the way that we kick it. And it's important that all that shit is just displayed for you me know. anyway. Like I, like I posted a picture, of, I posted a picture of uh, myself and Ian on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. And one of the fans said, wow, how could Joe have, all of the views that he has and have a white partner or a white manager or something like that. And it's like, huh? <laughs> like, what? what does that mean? Well, that's what I was saying. What does that mean? Listen, you got, if you, if you saying that to me, you got me all the way fucked up and you need to maybe listen to a few podcasts or see where I stand in terms of white people and black people. I ain't, I don't hate white people. <laughs> I don't hate white people. Actually, if you want to have a real conversation with me, I think it's all a distraction, and Russians got the whole Russia's got the whole country just pimping it out. I mean, I mean that's Joe's brain. Y'all fighting Russia is just the economy. You know what I'm the saying? The, the wealthy people. versus the non wealthy. It's world domination, Parks. Yeah, I said it a few weeks ago. Yeah. I'm sticking to it. God damn it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was off on a tangent, but a good tangent, like Maul said. Yeah. Uh, where do y'all where do y'all want to go from there? Oh, it's something in the water, the Pharrell yeah, Festival, yeah, yeah. the Pharrell Festival. I'm so mad uh, that I didn't know. I was about to say, I'm, we should have went. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see one. I bad wasn't doing picture, shit. One bad review. <laughs> Man, well, fuck a pit. I was home <laughs> like, staring at a wall, yeah, we, <laughs> doing we nothing. No, we fucked up. We definitely should have went. Did it? The first day get uh, rained out or something? Man, they was out there, forty thousand strong. Come on, Festival Poppy. It's crazy. Come on, festival, crazy, Bobby. It's cause, inexcusable. Yo, because Lowe hit me. was like, yo, just send me everyone's names. I was like, uh, I think I'm going to just chill. You forgot my name. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going. Yeah, we, have, name we still is, have names. You could have looked at my album. Yeah. <laughs> my name is right there. Joe Button. Yeah. It's right there. Just it's could have looked at the merch. Right in the yeah. flood itinerary. That's, yeah. that's craziness. Damn, Roar. So, because you ain't want to go, we couldn't go? Mm. I didn't think y'all wanted to go. That's mm. a deeper and darker. Mm. You didn't ask us. Y'all would have wanted to like, split the hotel? Get a Whatever. double, no. double for, for the fellas. <laughs> a double, no. a double. Get a double for the weekend. I'll like take double a for all four of us. Yeah, yeah, get a double. Those days are long Do the gone. <laughs> yeah, them double days is out of here. Long, long, long gone. I'm gonna get a king. No, nah, but we might not have been able to find nothing. That's the flip side of that. that everything nah, was booked. We went to Norfolk. 
fam. But I, don't Airbnb don't, exists now too. That's don't, a, don't, that's everything was taken, bro. For real? Uh, yes. Yo, uh, we could have hit Pink. <laughs> Pink. Pink could have put us up. I mean, now that's All true. Right, I'll, I'll, oh, Missy, we could have hit Missy. I'm sure she has yeah. property. Yeah, Knotts. I know he got a studio over there. We could have slept on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> we would have had somewhere to stay. <laughs> hit Pharrell. A few different options of places of to stay. Yeah. That shit looked amazing. Down to Pharrell's set list. Down to guests. Listen, man, I'm tight. He's got a lot that's, of friends. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Pharrell and friends is an extensive well, me, whole. And Sam, me and Sam were talking. I don't know if I'm ahead of myself. Yeah, there you go. How the fuck does he top this next year? <laughs> well, you know how he going to top that. He killed. Beyonce? That's what I said. Yeah. Hmm. Whole flew to Virginia. Push was in Virginia. Chris Brown was in Virginia. Chris Brown brought Trey songs out. Mm-hmm. Who else performed Y'all already know how there? I feel about Trey. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Already. I'm surprised you. That's why I'm surprised you weren't there. <laughs> I'm surprised that Trey didn't have anything to do with that. Uh, How long was this set? <laughs> you, Rory, Rory, Rory. You, first of all, you're nasty. That's number one. Um, I'm surprised that Trey didn't have something to do with that before Chris Brown uh, brought him out. Uh, being a Virginia native, that was that was a little shocking that Chris had to bring him out. Uh, I mean, well, I think on. I kind of know why. Festival yeah. Poppy, let me help you out here. Help me out, bro. <laughs> Uh, when you get a significant list like the way they, they had, you do want to add in surprises. So while he may have been booked and paid when they put out that flyer, they was like, all right, let's just keep that in the tuck. Ooh. You want to keep things in the tuck. Ooh. Surprise. They yes. tricked me. Ooh, tricky, tr- say, tricky tray. Because you put, you put everything on the list. There's nothing that's like, all right, well, I came here. I knew that was going to be there. I saw it on the stage and I left. Who else There's po- nothing that you was like, well, got to pull my phone out. No one knows Trey's coming. Right. But did Teddy Riley perform? I know he, he was did. a friend. I think Teddy Riley was there, and they gave him an award, as as he deserves. You fucking right. He Speaking of that. awards, a uh, young lady brought up something to me over the Look weekend. Look at Maul killing the segue. <laughs> what, what the hell? No, no, no. Because you said awards. Why hasn't uh, why hasn't BET given Stevie Wonder a lifetime award yet? But he performs at everybody else's lifetime Stevie award. Stevie Wonder is forty three. No, he's not. <laughs> you said forty three. Yeah, you you forty three. You're not the same age as Stevie. <laughs> Stevie Wonder don't look 43 to y'all Look What he looks and what he is Is two different things Sound 43 too I'm just saying <laughs> Stevie Wonder ain't move. New Edition got a Lifetime Achievement his Award extension, before, His before extensions ain't move. Well how the fuck They gonna give Stevie Wonder Stevie gotta sing At everybody else's shit but this is what I'm saying. He's Stevie Wonder's nah, not a cover artist. No, nah, he's gotta, one of the greatest writers and singers nah, of our generation. Did someone suggest he was a cover artist? Stevie got, but no, but he's always doing funeral. medleys for somebody else's lifetime that award. It's like, yeah. yo, he's not a cover artist. Like this is Stevie fucking Wonder. Stevie has sung at about ninety funerals in the this, past this five is, years. I ain't gonna this lie. is what I'm trying to tell you. So why does BET keep? Ignoring it New Edition should not have A Lifetime Achievement Award Before Stevie Wonder Especially if with, They ain't even New Edition Johnny Gill And they not even an addition. They don't They don't need a, <laughs> not even an addition. They the old, yeah they're Bobby Brown yeah. Bell Biv DeVoe That's like, the old edition Yeah like <laughs> How they got a Lifetime Achievement Award Before Stevie Wonder Like that's insane well, That's, that's new wild. edition Old edition yeah, Johnny Gill got the new edition somewhere. BT, y'all got y'all yeah, better man, give Eddie Stevie chilling. his flowers while he's here, man. But they have to feel like there's a few people they owe. Stevie the won the sixty eight. Come on. Forty three. Come on. <laughs> Stevie only sixty eight. Only sixty eight. That's young. That's young. That's young. I wouldn't say it's not like you just went from forty three to sixty eight like yeah. Like, well, yes. I was joking. No, I know about that. But that's more. But, but I'm shit, just saying, ain't too far from 43. <laughs> I'm saying that's 25 up. Yeah, sixty eight. Give Stevie one of his flowers, BT. Don't yeah. bring him out they there for nobody else's award. All right. No, they don't. No, no, no. He does need one, but I understand why he ain't got one yet. Why? Nigga, you got work to do. He got work to do. <laughs> he keeps singing. He keeps singing at these funerals. If Stevie Wonder got work to do, I'm never going to accomplish nah, shit in my life. No, what I'm saying is- <laughs> God that, damn. No, Maul, don't, don't, not, don't fuck me up here. No, no, what, I'm what not. I'm saying, what I'm saying is they try to wait until it seemed like you leaving. <laughs> New Edition don't seem like they leaving. You ever looked at New Edition? <laughs> what the fuck is he Shit. Talking? You ever looked at Bobby Hell close no. up in the face? <laughs> yes, it do. Nah. I mean, for what he's the only he one that good. looked dope is fucking uh, <laughs> Biz. Knock on wood, man. <laughs> Knock on wood. Look at, look at Parks. All right, y'all creeping me out, man. <laughs> Them niggas did look all old in the face at one point. Come on, don't man, do listen, that. Nah, I get it. I, I get what you're saying, but they, they better give. They better Stevie, have Stevie up there. Yeah, Stevie do more push-ups right. than all us <laughs> right, right now. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, but you're sounding slow. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you're breathing heavy. <laughs> or, or can I see? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Rory, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. Somebody, no, who, who was that that told me? 
Somebody told me, it might have been Brandon, that is mad proof online that Stevie could see. I've seen those videos. <laughs> <laughs> I probably posted them. They say they got this kind of, they of course, Stevie making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas is crazy. Man, if Stevie could go up to the Keurig and make some coffee, goddamn, something's I mean, wrong. For, not, for nothing, it's not hard to make a cup of Keurig. <laughs> no, wait. That's not right. hard to But you've out. seen a Keurig before. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm just saying. So it's easy for Why you. Why does Stevie know what a Keurig is, nigga? <laughs> y'all are stupid. No, you want to. All right, I'll snitch on myself. You want to y'all are stupid? You don't know how to load up a Keurig? No, of course I do. Don't oh. be silly. Uh, our last run we was on tour, we stopped at one of them 7 Elevens. Uh, Y'all was sleeping in the car and a couple of niggas that got out. I, I got out of the van and it was a dude that was blind that was walking up to the door. He had to stick out. <laughs> what you did? <laughs> what did Aggie no, for his sick no, joke do? No, no, I didn't do nothing. I was far away. I was by the van still. But I mean, I'll admit it since I'm in a safe space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was watching to see if he was going to bump into some shit. <laughs> That's what the stick is for, Joe. I wanted to see... How much he needed to stick. <laughs> that nigga didn't hit a thing. No. He yeah. walked he walked smooth into that 7 Eleven. I was like, wait a second, man. Well, you he walked would, better you than stumbled. me. Fam. You would have you would have bumped into the Nah, door you're sure. not understanding me. The big ass silver ice machine was outside. Yeah. He ain't even tap it with the stick little tip tip tip. Nah. Man, I'm saying, man, I'm out, man. He looked like he just beefed with his girl, opened the door, slammed it. <laughs> like, Yo, these blind dudes got gifts. Yeah. For yeah. sure, yeah, absolutely. Gift of feeling. Y'all never just thank God that you can see, absolutely, of course. and hear, and yeah. absolutely. smell, absolutely. and just absolutely. You, man, absolutely. I, I do that often. Me too. Yeah, yeah having you got it. You got is, it. We take it for granted, but it's definitely like, yo, there's people out here. I, like I see a lot of things on TV sometimes, and I'm like, people lose limbs that had all of their limbs at one point. I'm like, yo, I don't, I, I don't even know if I would be able to Fam, make that. I, you should that. see when I bitch up when I get an ear infection. I can't ear <laughs> out, hear out of my right ear for a day. Oh, no, my no, allergies no, no, start no, acting up. Out, yeah, I'm for dying. real, don't no, take much. That's traumatizing. What Rory's saying right now. Absolutely, ear infections suck. When you what? can't hear out of one ear, like got wax build up. That shit <laughs> happened to me on the slaughterhouse tour. I had to leave and find one of them. What's the new fancy fuck? Not the hospital, but the the cool one. The urgent care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had yeah. to find a little urgent care yeah, right quick. Yeah, put a little drops in. Man, my ear was filthy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Trying to perform like that. I'm sure that's yeah. difficult. Sickle I had an ear infection this this winter. That shit was brutal. I and I didn't know how much like your I'm hearing down. has to do with like your everything. balance yeah. and like everything you do in life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has your to do with your hearing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, that's one of my worst fears. Like when something go wrong, like finding out that like something up here is connected to like something down there. It's like, fuck! <laughs> if I would have known that, I would have chilled up there. <laughs> we took more care of it. Yeah, man. Come on, you gotta learn yeah. this stuff. It's important. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of, I don't know if we was done speaking of whatever we were speaking oh, of. Oh, uh, something in the water. Did anyone else see the pictures of Chad Tugo from NERD Mm-mm. and how miserable he was not being in the studio and <laughs> outside in front of people? Another ant. Yeah, the Ant-Man. I didn't want you to that eat, was eat the Ant Man. The Ants is coming up on this way. Paul, Paul, Paul Rugg is up. <laughs> Stun dead. Mm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> do y'all follow Pusha T on the Instagram? Night uh, yeah. <laughs> the, night, the Night King of Ants. Oh yeah, the Night the Night King of Ants. The Night King. Glory look a little Night Kingish in the face. Mm. Sometimes. Uh, did we see our uh, what? Uh, y'all follow Pusha T on Instagram? Yeah. Yes. Did you see uh, Chad getting the rightfully so? Honored at his high school, they had the band out there, and they were handing him the award. No. Chad yeah. looks so miserable. <laughs> Fan, why am I outside? Get away from me! There's a reason why I made Pharrell do everything in the public, so mm. I could sit here and jam. He looks so <laughs> mad that he had to be outside the entire time. It's funny. He looked miserable. What's like, name? dog, let um, me just go in the studio and be as amazing as I am. D Mac, D Mac, he called me last week. My cousin D Mac and told me he was uh, training. Chad, that was the most random shit in the world. Oh, I was yeah? like, what? He was like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm training him now. I had him in the gym like the last two days. And I was like, <laughs> I, I didn't know where Chad Hugo was in the world. Because he had to go outside. And then my cousin called me and told me, yeah, I'm training him. I'm like, what are you talking? Yeah, That's I the most it. random shit in Chad the world. Chad made about a billion dollars and said, fuck that. Fam. I'm, I'm staying home. Looks so, it's like, the, why am I out here? Chad hasn't been outside in 15 years. God bless him. And now that, he's that's swag. I got to be real with you. <laughs> that's swag. I would love to not. He come made the soundtracks <laughs> to our lives and said, "All right, I'll see y'all later." One in the house. <laughs> Chad the changed house. my life. Speaking Absolutely. of, y'all don't think they have? They, y'all think y'all don't think they have a way to keep us alive longer than they're telling us? Of what? Definitely. Of course. I read a study that said when you die, uh, your heart 
stops, but your brain it your brain still works like a few like a couple of minutes. And so like they're saying that people that are pronounced dead, they can actually hear that they're being pronounced dead. That was the scary shit in the world to me to know That's that fucked up. <laughs> your brain could still function while your heart has stopped, and you hear a doctor and tell him like, yeah, he's gone, he's passed away. Like it, what? That's fucked up. That's you know, fucking I, insane. I, I, hate, I hate to share this. But I do often think about stuff like that, what you're naming. So I often think about, like, in the case of a sudden death, knock on wood. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of that tonight. What would my last thought be? Like, mm. and you don't really have a choice over it, so what if you mad at, like, your last thought? <laughs> right. Like, and I'm serious. I think about all that. That's just fucked up. Your last thought? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, I've thought about that Your last thought before you go? Yeah. And now that I know doctors are saying that that's what happens... Like your heart stops before your brain. But I think like, about that a lot. Dumbass me is gonna try and leave you a clue or something, trying to be cryptic. <laughs> Wait, you mean your, niggas, last, your last thought, or niggas, your last action? I'm just saying, I would think something and try to whisper out something. <laughs> no, <you won't> be able- <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I can't get a whisper out. out. No, no, I think you can just think. Your mind is still working. I'm gonna get a little. I don't think your body is. Your body. I'm gonna be thinking I'm killing the hit. They go, ah, Joe just died. <laughs> he ain't leave us nothing. No, no scratches. No defense. No, no clues. No footprints. We got a great soundboard in your living room. A what? A soundboard? <laughs> this guy's awesome. This guy. I'm knocking on wood. You'll never, you'll dude. never get a soundboard from Joe. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of weird shit happening. And by the way, I don't think in the grasp of things, your last thought is really going to mean that much to you when you're on the other side. Like I have mad thoughts now. Too deep. Cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm with you, though. I don't think yeah. it's going to mean as much as you think it's going to mean to you. <laughs> well, no, it's not, because it's just my luck. Mine's going to be about a gyro or something. <laughs> that well, would be a great last I'm thought. T- That's I'm true. telling you. A craving? Uh, That'd be kind of tough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Gyros is my last thought from Earth. In my head, I always pictured me like just saying I love you to someone <laughs> <laughs> that was holding me in their arms, caring about me. It's not a fear you have to go alone. Hell yeah. Yeah, alone, I don't know. Come on, be vulnerable. Uh, Come on. I never really thought about it. To be alone alone is, that has to be terrible. Yeah, it depends on what what kind of alone. Am I actually by just Like, have I not seen someone for a million years, or have I just, like, everyone left and went to the store and I fucking died? Yeah, 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 wherever you're at, you're by yourself. That one right there. Everyone went to the store. Now you on the board trying to mix something. And I died. Yep. That's terrible. Uh, real, I'm only asking because they always they always promote the life alert chains and shit to older people. And I'm like, man, fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm, you need I'm getting me a little <laughs> life alert. So I'm, I'm gonna hit Rory. Somebody going to hear <laughs> on, on the floor. Yelling, yelling you're it's not the life yeah. alert. Shit, it's alert. You're, I think this is it. <laughs> I think yeah. I'm about to check out. <laughs> Send help. Yeah, yeah, one of y'all better get over here. <laughs> it's real. I ain't joking. <laughs> I got because I'm gonna have Uber. to say I'm not joking. Yeah, no, no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> I got an Uber that, Ford Focus outside for you, <laughs> and that's why niggas gotta stop joking. Because yeah. when you think about real shit like that, and you gotta say, I, I, "Yo, I'm not joking." Yeah, getting a life alert chain is hilarious. <laughs> I thought about that. I thought like dudes shooting at me and and me grabbing my phone to tweet, "Yo, all y'all call nine one one and tell niggas to locate my phone." I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm what serious. you would do if niggas are shooting at you. One hundred percent. I think it's easier to just. Press like nine one one. Shit, and y'all never tried to down nine one one. Yeah, it's not. Y'all have never yeah. tried to down nine one one. To get a whole that. tweet off, I can get a whole tweet off before you get nine one one and finish their questionnaire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, at least when you so call, they get you your exactly. location. You know? Are you being serious? Yo, that be yeah. killing. No, but they get your location. Fam, yeah. I have a bullet in my fucking thigh. So, <laughs> so give me what happens in seven p.m. Fam, <laughs> you don't get that ambulance over here. No, but I think they're doing that just to keep. They you do that to keep you alert, calm, and, and to keep yeah, you like calm, alert, calm, alert. And they get your location the moment you listen. I yeah. feel calm and alert sending the tweet out. Yeah, them <laughs> niggas gonna not Twitter. They gonna be like, yo, this nigga Joe stupid. That's why you gotta say. I'm serious. That don't mean nothing on Twitter. Oh yeah, because Twitter. You when you say I'm fuck serious, no, I'm serious. Out. You think they'll let me just go joke. out? Niggas will laugh at you like, fuck. Niggas nah. start sending you memes and pump it up. Like, nah. <laughs> shut up, nigga. They like, yo, shut up. Pump nigga. his heart up. <laughs> yeah, like nigga, shut up, nigga. Are you dying? Nigga, pump it up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about? You, you go to 
Twitter and your dying moments. Yeah. If you want to, nigga. OVO, what up? I don't trust my timeline that much. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait. They said they gonna start sending yeah. me pump it up, man. Hell yeah. We'll oh, see, man. Omarion dancing in the rain don't to pump it up, that. all types of shit. Joe Hive wouldn't do that yeah, okay. to me, man. Joe Hive. He think, on, he, if you think that I'm serious, it's gonna make people sleep. Like caring you, Joe Hive. Come on, I gave him MM2. Yeah, I know. They gonna give you MM2 right back on your dying moments. Like, nigga, shut up and get back in the studio. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you now. I'm just saying. I would never go to... Nah, I don't trust my timeline enough. Not for my life. Hey. This is getting way too morbid, hey. by the way. For real. <laughs> Fuck, this is my happy song. <laughs> this is one of your happier hey. moments? <laughs> Hold up, Joe! This one, this one of your happy moments. what it used to do. <laughs> <laughs> this one of your happier moments? <laughs> That's a sick-ass happy moment. Oh, when that nigga said talk to him in the back, <laughs> you talk God to damn it, him. some you, talking was about to go on. You talked to them. No, no, I was they going to. I was going to talk to him. 98 bars. Coming. <laughs> that, easy, man. that might be easy. 260. Yeah. <laughs> something like, something like 730. Something, like, yeah. something, something quick for you, one take. <laughs> Wait, so now y'all are fucking talking shit. Do y'all want to get into uh, Goods vs. Cass or uh, Cass? Or Rest you, in peace, or, Cassidy. <laughs> you watch them all? Yes. I did too. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> I told y'all that was gonna happen. Yeah. Rest I mean, I don't think any of us when we first came out. No, you didn't, because we all had goods. Yeah. Now, had so good you can't win. tell us when we we said the same thing. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Okay. Well, no, but I didn't come on here and give it up like I thought was gonna happen because I try to have some respect and you know, Cass is from we the tra- same yeah, class. Tried to, we tried to re- have. You want to be respectful. He's a fellow. He's yeah. a fellow MC. He's yeah. A fe- so yeah. you want to be nice, but, but I, behind the scenes, no. Let me tell you. We got love for the hustler. I thought. And the problem. He's both. They battled each other. Well, both of them niggas is dead today. That's what I'm. <laughs> the hustler. Did we, the did we ever get a winner on who yeah, between the, the, the problem Rory. and the hustler was? Yeah, Rory. No. The, 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 the hustler. Problem the problem versus the hustler. <laughs> and who won? <laughs> Segway King. That's how different of a time we're in because when he did that. It was hard. God, the idea that was hard. It worked. What? No, I was there. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, uh, Cassidy versus Barry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> versus Barry. Right. Wait, then somebody else, T.I. versus Tim. Somebody else, Barry. Yeah, T.I. That, that, that was shit. a thing for a minute. I'll tell you, it was a shit. little thing. Niggas trying no, to get into their alter ego bag. I got a lot, lot of love for Cass, man. No, Cass, I do too. Cass has good but albums, I knew that good he, artists. I don't want to make it sound like I'm clowning. I knew Cass. that well, he. Well, it sounded like you were clowning Cass. Because I was. Hold on, more. It did sound like you were clowning. Because I was. But. I still love Cassidy. Better play a Cassidy sleeper, man. Make up for it. <laughs> I listen. I knew this was. Don't can't happen. fade yeah, me yeah. with Nas and Quan. Yeah, y'all know how I feel about Goods. <laughs> See, I, that's how deep I can go in my Cassidy bag. Mm. I tell. I still tell Joe. I don't think. I don't think Goods ever clearly. You say the the hollow shit. I don't think Goods has ever really lost a battle. Personally, he didn't lose that. Not one. clear cut where it was like he got. Maybe a couple rounds, but I don't think he ever lost a battle. I'll tell you which battle he did not lose. No, he didn't lose that last time. No, no, no. But, <laughs> he didn't lose a ball. But I said that was, I don't know why Cassidy took that because Goods has been preparing for that battle for years. Mm. He could. He might have been able to do that battle Freestyle. the yeah. day after they announced well, it. Well, he took it because he got paid to take it. No, but what I'm saying is he's been, Goods has been wanting that battle mm. for years. He's been wanting that battle. And well, I got knew, it. Yeah, yeah. I, knew, I knew Cassidy wasn't, he didn't really have I got to give it to you, man. I didn't speak much about the battle uh, leading up to it, but Cassidy was doing a really great job. And if you're unaware, uh, was this a, a URL card? Uh, I don't know. I think so. I think they were in Atlanta, question. right? Yes. We don't know shit. They weren't in New York. Yeah. They were in Atlanta. And it looked like some great battles on the card. It was Cassidy versus Goods, uh, K-Shine versus Tay Rock. Mm. I saw John John versus Twerk, mm. uh, and I'm freestyling here, so if I'm wrong, please forgive me, but them th- off those three battles alone, it sounds like an impeccable card. Um, but I thought Cassidy would get smoked. <laughs> like, when and Cassidy had did. that battle in the big room against De- uh, uh, Diz, and that's what I was saying. In the big room, I thought Cassidy did a poor job, and... It's tough for me to say because a lot of people probably feel like I did a poor job too. But I thought in the big room, Cassidy did a poor job. And in the tiny room, it helped. What an advantage to be able to have a battle twice. Let me mm-hmm. tell you, if I would have had my battle twice, different outcome the second go round. Not different outcome, but different showing. You're more comfortable. You know you, you know the, the, the rhymes. You've done it. The, right. the setting. All of that type of stuff. Because Cassidy, the, the 
how battles went back then on Wax and what he did against Freeway versus what they're doing on stages today, two totally different things. Yeah. And while I do really appreciate any of the uh, rappers who've, who have had a record deal jumping in that arena, because not only is it different, but boy, it adds a real uh, uh, microscope to the genre and... Yeah. I'm always with that. I'll say I'll say he he held his own in the fact that the crowd was definitely booing him at some point and he just kept rapping. Like I was impressed by that. Like That's he was impressive. getting he was giving they were giving him a tough time and he fought through it. Now I, I saw I saw a lot of people complaining about the crowd. Actually, let's pause this for a minute and rewind back to our whole B-sides conversation. That crowd <laughs> That crowd was a little off. Mm. Y'all ain't know the words to allure. Ooh. Y'all was, didn't know the words nah, it was, to come on, man. But you knew that it was gonna be. Oh, that's that's the shit that's popping in the yeah, city. New York, New York I'm shows. Going. Rory, like, I, don't, I don't leave my house, so I, I don't. I didn't know that. You, you've done enough shows in New York to, to know to, what the New York show crowd ticket, can be like. If you wasn't one of those first few, well, people, actually, I can't say your your crowd it was always good in New York because they were super. Yeah, dying. I haven't ever had that's that experience. True. But you've been to enough New York shows where people are too cool for school. I'm not talking about a New York crowd. The normal New York show, but I mean, if I buy, if if there's an A Boogie show, and I'm a huge A Boogie fan, and this is a bad example, but you know what I mean. Right. Uh, and A Boogie is doing all the joints that he don't normally ever do, and, and you can put anybody's name in there. Right. Uh, I would expect the fans to know some of the words. Okay. But that's the you problem guys, I have with Especially talking, if the, <laughs> if I'm giving you my joints, fam, if I went to a Moon Music 2 concert and they ain't know the words to Are You in That Mood Yet? Yeah. Black Cloud? Yeah. Cho, you guys, this isn't a New York crowd. This is a fake, cool industry crowd. They only sold a certain amount of well, tickets. Well, go to the home. People. Get <laughs> out. <laughs> Every. T- get, get out. Get the fuck yeah. out. No, Why I are y'all out here? I agree with you. Yeah, I did see a bunch of office people in there. That's, uh, that's what it was. But that's, that's the problem t- I have with these, you know, with shows like this are released online because so many of these, you know, these new hype beasts, they got these bots that allows them to purchase things like a hundred, two hundred times. We, we, we talked about, about uh, was but I'll even go in. further with when I went to the four forty four show and the only time I pulled my camera out was for I love the dough and I was the only one rapping in Barclays Center. We talked about it on here. That's, that's mm. a shame. Like, <laughs> that's a shame. Yeah, you have to think who goes to some of these shows and who has access to these things. It's not. The direct consumer, right? It's, All right, well, it's well, the people that are not cool, but they work are the, deemed they work cool the label because they whatever. work somewhere yeah, that yeah. is supposed to be cool. But All right, well, then I do agree that they or we or somebody needs to find a new, a new way to figure out who should and sh- who shouldn't be there. I think Cole's good at that. He might be one of the people that's mastered that. Hmm. But I've never been to a Cole show. Well, he does the dial in the dream shit, like. He finds a way to just get his fans in that bitch. Good, good old mailing lists. So, <laughs> yeah, I bought mailing <laughs> list. Yeah, what's up? Word. So I went Pull back up. to bring up the fans because I saw a lot of people complaining about the fans at that battle. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see the battle, so I don't know what was going on. But I could imagine that playing a huge role. Uh, when I battled, it played a huge role. And, yeah. you know, just the crowd participation. Did the crowd, was the crowd into it? Was the crowd not into it? They took you off your square. Uh, would you like me to come clean? Sure. Not necessarily true. I just didn't have my third all the way memorized. No. So in my head, it was the third was an L either way. Hmm. The booing gave me the out because gotcha. I didn't because it was going to be all right. We're going to forget this verse or we're going to stop. Right. One or the other. I stopped. I ain't beat. I ain't got paid already. <laughs> <laughs> but let me not say that because that comes off yeah, wrong. Sounds I good. got paid already, and you know, honestly. And me and, and me and Hollow talking, I, that crowd, they let a lot of those people in for free. Hmm. Like, whatever tickets they did not sell, they just went outside and grabbed some people off the street hmm. who weren't necessarily giving a fuck about battling or who was battling, anything like that. And I knew that. So when I went on, I could kind of see it. Hmm. I could see it and I could hear it. So in my head, I would throw, I would throw the third round. Hollow would throw the first round because we spoke. And he already told me, fam, I got some shit to get off about what's going on here because there's some bullshit going on. So that's why the beginning of his verse, it wasn't even about me. Mm. He ain't even getting to meet to him after the first 16, 24, something like that. Mm. I actually, that was really the only part of the Hollow's shit that I liked was that first part. No, when he that, told everyone to eat a dick, stop trying to vulture off battle rap. <laughs> and he was, but he was right. He was. Yeah. He was right. 
if I wasn't playing uh, corporate puppet at the time, I was right with him. But I sh- certainly told him over the phone, yeah, you're right. It's bullshit. <laughs> right. Um, Although, I, like, even with this battle, like, I'm mad that, well, I ho- I'm hopeful that they find a way to make it more accessible. Battling needs. Because I had to watch some battling, shitty bootlegs. I didn't catch it. Dope, in time. Battling I was doing needs something some Saturday. form of a streaming service. Yeah. Something the way Netflix has, not or just a YouTube. Deal with something one of them. people can. They have a real ingrown audience. You can get people to pay fucking ten dollars a month, yeah. where I can log into this shit and have an HD version the second that shit drops. Yeah. It's not that fucking hard. I cannot understand why Battle Rap does not have something in place for that right now. Yeah. Agreed. And I hope that happens. Because like I said, I was watching some shitty fucking bootlegs. I couldn't catch it at the time, so I didn't pay for the I stream. I had not watch because I wasn't watching the bootlegs. Battle yeah. Rap is another one of those communities, and I'm not going <laughs> to open up this Pandora's box this way. Yeah. But Battle Rap, much like regular rap, is another one of those communities where the the infrastructure and the payouts and the exit money, all of it needs to pro- probably be readdressed. Mm. Uh, Hollow was doing a lot of talking about that in our battle. Shit, I was doing a lot of talking about that and mine and his battle. But like in in battle rap, you paying me a fee to go and rap, right? Mm -hmm. So great. I'm taking the fee and I'm going home and I'm writing my three rounds and then I'm coming to your event and I'm performing because that's what you paid for. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with the visual rights? Yeah, streaming and all that shit. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. That should be a separate. That's a totally different fee. Yeah. Yeah. Or or it's to be included in my fee. Yeah. There yeah. should be royalties on it, certainly. Well, yeah, I was about to say and, y- and y'all not giving me royalties, and there's no. no publishing on this. Right. I would like to argue that there's probably tens and millions of dollars just floating around in the atmosphere. Well, someone's got out that. There. No, it's not floating. <laughs> someone's no got it. Yeah. It's, just, it's floating in someone's bank account. account. Well, Somebody no, has well, it. Well, no, 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 no. Listen to me. I agree with y'all, yeah. but I think the infrastructure is set up so poorly that there is X amount of dollars oh, floating that no one is claiming. I would have I would have purchased the same way I feel it's happening in the podcast industry. Don't get me started on here. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would I would purchase a a, a monthly uh, you know subscription or whatever because I wanted to watch that shit like in a good quality. What video. Part, part, I'm a casual battle rap fan. I would pay ten dollars a Absolutely, month me too. to to be have access to all the bat- battles that are going and on. And I want to be able to see all of I'm them. I'm a right. casual you know fan. Yeah. And, and you you bring up an excellent point. Don't let them have an excellent point. Archive Roy. with all of these companies fighting for market share, it it would behoove the battle the the battle entities. To come together and charge and make up some type of something yeah. where now there's an all inclusive price yeah. to everyone's battle. And now let's just go get everything. Yeah. Every single battle ever. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent of zero is zero. <laughs> yeah. 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 And for the, the OG battle people, cut them in too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a fee. You get a percentage of this shit. Yeah. The same way when Ho brought all them people on stage, it just didn't market correctly. Because it was a bunch of rich people complaining. Right. Get every single battle rapper that has been around a URL forever to cut in on Fam, this. They get a percentage of everything. I agree mm. with Rory. Y'all, y'all have your, your this whole Marvel Universe MCU type of thing <clears throat> going on, and I don't really feel like you're taking advantage of it. Yeah. Maybe once a year when you could pay your big names X amount of dollars to come perform and put the video on YouTube, y'all are missing out on on so much revenue. Yeah. So it, much revenue. It almost pains me when I hear battle rappers in their first verse bragging that they got 20 racks for this battle. It's a joke. Yeah. It, like, it's it, a joke. It pains it's a joke. me when yeah. I hear that. It says yeah. that they don't understand understand what's going on. Yeah. It, yeah. And it's fucked up because, because if y'all don't, and this is the same in music, this is the same in music, it's fucked up because if the infrastructure and the inner workings of it is never addressed and never realigned, then there there will never be enough money to supplement what should be happening. It kind of goes to the gentrification talk too, honestly, because yeah. someone yeah. will come in and gentrify that shit. You are, you Hell are, yeah! Well, that's what happens when I see fucking uh, smack hosted by exclusive vodka or, or some. You're not even hosted by nobody, fam. You this you are you. You are smack smack DVD twenty years, fifteen years, however many years in, and that be the thing. Remember, Just I said a long 20. time ago in here, I judge niggas on men and not their careers and music no more. Like twenty years, fifteen years in, that's enough for you to now be 
what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but shit, that it don't make sense that we can only see Lux whenever some battle company can afford to give him the 50, 60, or 70 grand that he gets. Yeah. And for them, it's difficult to afford that and put on a whole show. It's the same as when I ask Love & Hip Hop for X amount of dollars, and they respond by saying, hey, but we have a cast of 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what they got to do with me? Right. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Right. Hitman Holler got to go do something else. Conceited got to go do something else. Charlie Clips, we ain't seen in however long. Well, he popped up recently. But the point is, the people that have brought the genre to where it is, yeah. it's some, it's y'all job still. I say create through it on here all the time. These niggas laugh at me for being in that creator bag. It's y'all's job to figure out how to continue to create the ancillary income, the, ex, the extra income in the genre. Yeah. Shout out to niggas like Arsenal Who went and started his own fucking league And you know I'm off on a tangent here And I ain't mean to get too much into battling But I do feel like this stuff is no, important It's a larger it conversation is. Because, yeah, of, of because Maul We can never We'll never have the capital to gentrify If we're not getting the capital In the respective arena that we should get it from Yeah Oh yeah absolutely Absolutely Yeah I said on State of Culture a little while ago, give us the music and the drugs and we'll figure it out. I agree. Give the battle rappers the the, the correct money that they're supposed to get. Yeah. And we'll see a lot more battles. <laughs> yeah. The good ones too. Yeah. Pat Stay versus we're gonna see anybody. Uh-huh. Diz will be back. Fucking uh, what's the nigga we like to be wound? Daylight will be everybody will be back. And there'll, hey, be, a the lot, state, there'll be a lot more young kids trying to come up and do it. If there's a yeah. viable career, you know what I'm saying? A sustainable like, career, yeah. yes. One hundred percent. Niggas shouldn't have to niggas shouldn't have to create a way to get money in in what they're passionate about and in five years later have to figure out something else. Yeah. 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 Like that's fucked up. Yeah. Like cause the market didn't leave. Mm. Word up. <sighs> it's all exhausting. <laughs> huh? It's all exhausting. Yeah, it is. Um, all right. So I watched my very first episode. Get round of applause. Hold up, man. You right, Parks. I'm doing it wrong. Hey, come on. I'm doing it wrong. We converted a couple thronies here. <laughs> I did it, you guys. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. Are you a throny? That name just sounds nice to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's what they call themselves. Okay. They I, they don't. Oh, we made that up on this yeah, podcast. Yeah. They were laughing yeah. at me for saying throny. <laughs> the Gotties, right? Got Gotti. They didn't respond. I don't know. I don't Hell know. Not the Gotties. I don't know. And Parks is not like he don't act like a real uh, Gotti. He's not a Gotti. So they don't respect nothing he says. No. They be kill, they be killing me for Parks' take on yeah. Game of Thrones. And they kill me I'm like, for all the show. sports you, takes. I'm like, me? fam, I like Russell like personally. <laughs> <laughs> I love Game of Thrones. I know, but when you talk about it, it's very casual. It's like yeah, I'm not as uh, hyped, I guess, about it. Yeah, and when you when you air season, what is this eight? Yeah, and seventeen point six million people watch. I could see how some people would take offense. Absolutely, but there's uh, a lot more people coming around to my viewpoint, but I'll leave that alone. So, I was home alone Sunday night. Mm. I heard all of the ranting and raving. <laughs> <laughs> the grumblings. You heard ranting. the grumblings? Oh, I heard it weeks and weeks and weeks. But this was the one. They told me it's the, you know, and I'll be honest. They said it was the longest battle in the history of television. And film. Battles. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. But then I saw a little tweet with some stats, and I don't have them, so if I'm incorrect, please forgive me. But it said that uh, this scene took 55 days to film, or yeah. this episode. There were 750-plus actors. Yeah. Uh, and then I bumped into one of the videos, and this is what really got me. I bumped into one of the videos of the people in charge of the makeup for Game of Thrones. Mm. Uh, and the masks and just all of that type of stuff. Man, did they, did they come up. Oh yeah, their uh, their their costume design and makeup and all that shit is yeah. But they was doing they was doing some other shit. Not 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 too much going on over there. And when they got that Gotti's call, <laughs> and then they just started bucking. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. lots of business. So once I saw that, I said, "All right, enough is enough." What is this Battle of Winterfell? Yes. Mm. <laughs> you got me there on the name Winterfell. So I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna tune in. I'm home alone. I'm not doing shit. I'm gonna watch." Yeah, me too. And I'll be honest with you guys. 
this was the first time that I watched the show without ever having watched the the show. Right. Mm-hmm. In the last season, knowing absolutely nothing about anything, the character development, who's who, what's what, dragons, lions, tigers, beers, oh my. So you didn't uh, watch any of the million links that people say? No, no, okay. no, no, Jumped no. Jumped right in. No I way. I like that. I like that. So, disclaimer. This review is the <laughs> review of... Two people, because Maul's with me. Maul never saw it either, right? And right. you watched it, right? Correct. Ooh, we hype beasts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, this review is of two people who don't know shit about Game of Thrones. Right. <laughs> and Parks. Yeah. And Savon. Savon, get over here, because you a throny. Come on, get close. Hey. Get close, because I, I, I don't respect uh, <laughs> Parks as a real throny, man. But. I'm a throny. How you doing, Savon? You good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> what time does Game of Thrones come on? Nine o'clock. Nine a fucking clock. Eastern yeah. Standard Time. Grab yes. my remote. Sir, did you watch the episode, Roy? Come on, Roy. <laughs> Loser. Roy's fucking up. This the is what whole... happened. This is what happened. This is what all happened. Respect, all respectable yeah. HBO Sunday night shows come on at ten o'clock. I thought Game of Thrones came on at ten o'clock. So I went to watch it at ten o'clock and realized it ended at ten twenty five and then I gave up and turned it. Loser. Oh, it's coming right back on at 11.05 yeah. and 12.05. Or you can just hit the button. Yeah, yeah word. Stream it. Word. But that's, that's fine. Don't worry about it, Roy. So, <laughs> 9 o'clock. Grab the remote. Mm. Searching for where HBO is. Mm. I, no, nah, I was searching for it. I always have to search for these channels. 8.99. That's, thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't know that that day. I just, I just used the app. I tur- turn on HBO. It's like a long intro, so I'm confused. They was like a lot of previews. Yeah, yeah. they got me hype. I said, "Ah, HBO, you <laughs> little fucking Weisenheimer, you. This must be a." So I'm hype. I don't know nothing, but I'm hype because HBO decides to shove all of the ads in front of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I went to the new TV guy, which is Twitter, the timeline, and I saw everybody else beefing about the long intro. I said, "All right, I got the right channel." <laughs> Show comes on. It was dark. And that was my first question. Is this show normally that dark? No, this no. is this is they they probably went this a little too was, hard with the darkness. This was dark. It was kinda of hard to see a lot of I, shit. Yeah, I, it was difficult. It yeah. was it was tough. Yeah, you had to turn the lights off and shit. So it was so tough that at first my, my first reaction was, Why am I watching this bullshit? This is trash. Right. And then I said, Well, wait a minute. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. You never seen shit. You don't know why it's dark. You don't know nothing. So let's continue to watch this as the guy who doesn't know things. Good. So once I got in that bag, I was cool. They started with a spell. Man, yo. <laughs> that was big. That was I big. well listen. That's big. You can tell me why, mm-hmm. but I love a spell. <laughs> <laughs> yo, when this shit started with a spell, who was the chick she had a hood on? Yeah. See that? Everyone raise your swords. <laughs> oh, shit, I was in bed putting it up. I put it up in the bed. And she said, Did y'all know what she was saying? No. 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 That wasn't a language that was introduced not. earlier yeah, or something no. new. All right. Well, when she finished the spell, you weren't excited about a spell, more? No, not yet. That's not where I got Fam, it. Fam, if a show going to start with a spell. See, niggas never told me that. Y'all told me dragons and weird shit. Yeah. Spells and witches and well, she's one also, of the few yeah. witches. She's yeah. like one Fam, of the She witches. said yeah. a spell sure. and all of the swords lit up. Yeah. yeah. And I said, That's that, not the point. I, I, they needed that too. It was wait. dark. It was dark out. But I was very appreciative of that because yeah. I could see now, number yeah. one. And number two, <laughs> that was fly. Yeah. It looked great. That was just fly cinematography or whatever you Yeah. That mm-hmm. looked good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So then, all right, Parks and Savon, who was this group? Who was this group? Well, it's a it's a bunch of different groups. The uh, first group. The first group was the first group uh, to go the out unsullied, to fight. Unsullied. The unsullied. No, the Dothraki. Oh, Dothraki. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're, you're, right, you're wrong. Right. It's the Dothrakis. No, right. yeah. yeah, the unsullied right behind like them with savage. the spears. Now yeah, tell like, me about them. Yeah, they yeah. can fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what they, they do. Known for they, they get know, busy. They get See, busy. that's that's what I thought. Yeah, they don't speak English at all. Fam, I speak Dothraki. Reading the timeline. I was able to pick up that the Dothrakis yeah. are not for play play. Not at all. They little swords lit up. Yeah. They niggas went charging for curvy swords. They said, yeah. It was right, fam. I just want to know that uh, raw shit ended in a millisecond. <laughs> I just want to know. That's when I got into it. I want to know. Wait, Savon's that's that's 
would be shit. I'm saying yes, they were barbaric. They didn't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to note his Long Island Republican shit that just came out. But continue on. I did not watch the program. Fam. That when I got hyped, fam. when them niggas came back and he looked at homie like. <laughs> nah, like yo, fam, it's about to get crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, okay, this might be some dope shit that's about to happen. Now, yeah. now that was the uh, that was the uh, the White Walkers that yeah. they were going against. Yeah, yep. <laughs> the Whites. <laughs> <laughs> no Parks. That's what they're called. See, the, no, 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 no. The White Walkers. Well, white no, the people white always Walker, want to no, take charge walkers, of the most powerful. The, am shit. I wrong? The White Walkers are the uh, the 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 generals. No, the, just in general, everybody, anybody. I thought they, they were called just the Whites, the undead. I've never heard that. Okay. I've heard it. it is spelled from, white, from not what like I, W-H-I-T. It's from like From what w. I've read, and again, I don't know shit, walkers. is they, yeah. they were the White Walkers. Yeah. But it don't anyway. matter. Anyway. The Dalthrakis got Dalthraki. Them <laughs> they got they fucking ass beat quickly. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah. didn't seem like much of a fight. No. And then I was on the edge of my bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's they, all the they, they came back and told the homies that, that didn't seem so tough. <laughs> I didn't know who those... I, now, again, the Unsullied are tough, too. But listen, Super. see, and that's where y'all got to help me. Yeah. I don't know... How tough any of these groups are supposed to be? They're all tough, well, but the dudes, them dudes the they line, was yeah. against yeah. wasn't for play play. They weren't dudes. Well, they were dudes, I the guess. Dudes but on the front undead. lines were the toughest of the tough. Yeah. So the Dothraki who went out first, yeah. who had the the light, they yeah, were super tough. And the dudes behind them was super so, tough as well. Everyone's like tough. the, the wildlings are also super tough, but the Dothrakis are not a large army. Uh, no, not as large See, as you the gotta, Unsullied. See, that's important shit. Not you got to give me that. Yeah. So why would they send the... the Because the, they wild with the horses and yeah. the swords. And they, that's what they do. That's so what they, they do. They but them it. niggas came right back, though. They got their nah, ass nah, beat. No, nah, no, they didn't. <laughs> like so two of them nah, did. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. They, they got their ass back. handed to them. Yeah, quick. Yeah. Quick. Um, And then it was on from there. And then I was rooting for them. I'll be honest. So what were you thinking, Savon, as an educated uh, throny nah, at that I was point? Just like fucked up. I didn't expect them to get their ass handed like like that. They brought the whole winner. Yeah. So <laughs> like for 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 the light and the fire to go out that quick yeah. without any sense of any type of hope, I'm like, oh shit, it's going down. How yeah. many? Tell me how many years they have built up to this particular fight. Since episode one of season one, yeah. are you serious? Winter yeah. is coming is yeah. the first name of the first episode. Yeah. Okay, so with that, it said, opens up with that? White Walkers yes. killing wow. the people at the uh, yes episode the wall. one season one. Okay, yeah. so with that, so with that yeah, said though, more as, than that, as, years. A, as a throny who's been dedicated and who's been invested, mm-hmm. do you or do you feel like what you saw was su- was sufficient for that big um, of a lead up and build up? Because I'm gonna get into how I feel about yeah. uh, Night King and Jon Snow. It was and it wasn't. And I had more Arya. expectations for the Night King. Yeah. I had more yeah. expectations for Absolutely. Do you, like, do you feel like they rushed this because it was the last season and they had to tie up some of the loose ends? Um, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And, and yeah, I think so. Absolutely. I think they just didn't do the Night King justice as far as like combat. That's yeah. all. Like they had the scare tactics, they had all that shit, which he's done throughout the entire show. Right. But when it was time to like, all right, we want to see this next like they, fight. They've been building fight. up the the bat this battle. Like the yeah. main battle is for the throne, obviously, Game of Thrones. But this battle has been like the secondary but sort of primary mm-hmm. war. Yeah. The whole time. It's like the under underlining storyline. But they right. but they've never shown how powerful the Night King is supposed to be. Oh, always. yeah, they have. So then why wouldn't it that's why it's confusing. Mm-hmm. And that's why maybe I'm inclined to roll with Parks on, and don't kill me, Throny. Some They're of the kill you. bad writing, but I'm not going to call it bad writing because this is the last season. So you got to close. Uh, yeah, I got to see how it ends before I'm, yeah. I'm willing to. But not uh, only that, you just got to close up seven seasons of storyline. Yeah. So I'm not so mad at that. Uh, me and Maul feel the same way about Jon Snow. Don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> People keep telling me that Jon Snow is tough. And I, I I don't know. I've never seen it. He is. John is tough. Yeah. He did, it didn't look yeah, tough to me. I'll, I'll, I'll be on honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop no, right well, on that. Yeah, I got it. I, I, I got to be on. Hey, Savon. That nigga's pussy. John Snow didn't look tough to me. He looked tough that to nigga, you, Maul. Hell no, that nigga's pussy. Now I get it. He did. They killed him. He died. He came back, yeah. saved some other. I, 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 I read all that. Okay. I read all, all that. Right. So you did a little research. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, okay. I did a little research. Right, cool. I got to know who some people are. Yeah. Fam, just going off of what I saw yesterday. Jon Snow running two miles behind the Night King, and then I can hear him a mile away. I'm like, fam, Night King is about to hear you. He's going to turn around, and then you're going to be in trouble. And sure enough, he turned around, snapped. You 
fucking peasant. <laughs> Snapped his fingers, and now here go my dead homies. Yep, all yeah. of them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Deal with them. Why would people call a Night King pussy in that instance? See, I ain't seen all of John Sm- John Snow's. He ain't like. That's why true. would you not how did take he, the film? Wait, how did he not want to smoke? If you see a nigga running towards you, why would you call your man? Because I have I have the power to raise the dead. But you want to do that more. <laughs> Huh? Yes, I would. Yeah. I would. Oh, Fam, yeah. as soon as I saw him do that, I said, "Damn, I would love the power to raise the dead." Like, that, 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 <laughs> I'm like, that "That's is, ill." That is exactly what I'm I would. Like, do. That was ill. Fam, yeah. you're running by mad bodies. Yeah. I just saw Black Summer on Netflix, and and the dead people they was winning. First of all, he <laughs> fell off the dragon. It's like you don't even know how to that drive was the dragon. The second time ever riding the dragon. So he wait, he's not, he not, he not he just hopping dragon. on a dragon. Know, he all, he, like, and they were doing battle dragon. up there. Sure, I could, I could drive him and his dragon. dragon nigga, him and his fair. dragon on the low saved the day because they took down uh, Listen, the dead dragon. My first time ever driving bumper cars, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, <laughs> I, could, I could drive a dragon. Nigga. <laughs> put, me, put me on a dragon right now. Yeah, I could I'm drive a dragon. I don't know if you could. I could drive a dragon. Yeah, I could drive a dragon. Not fighting a dead dragon in in airspace. They were above the clouds. I know I could drive. Fam, Jon Snow pull his sword out. Night King mad far away still. I'm like, what the fuck are you saw that for? Yeah, first of all, what's tough know, about man. that? He ain't tough. Nah, it's just, he, and then he, he shouldn't have beat all. He should have been dead at that moment when all them dead dudes rose up. But then that's when the then the dragon started like, like, like oh, yeah, blowing yeah, the smoke, yeah. blowing Fam, the fire, yeah. killing. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all gotta tell me that. Some of these people could survive fire. Like some of these people have special powers. No, uh, just tonight. First. Yeah. yeah, just yeah, tonight. No, well, no, fire. that's not true. That's he not walked, true. He walked through the he walked through the fire uh, when Hodor when they attacked the the tunnels. Yeah, yeah, he walked okay. through fire then. Yeah, yeah, so this sure. is not the first time that he survived fire. For him, no, just for him. Yeah. For him. Yeah. But fire dragon fire, you be... thought would be different. Yes. Yeah. Fire that I'll give you. Not only that, he was looking at the dragon smiling. Yeah. After the heat, he blew that fire on him, he was like, "Come on, fam. You think I came all this way to like let you kill me? No, not gonna happen." But. Yeah, the dragon fire, like, the dragons is, like, the, the X factor in the whole shit. Yeah. Anybody who has a dragon is supposed to be, like, you can't fuck with us. Yeah. So to see well, that in I that moment, that. yeah. Well, it was well especially like, oh, because shit. the dragon glass, which is, I think, created from dragons blowing yep. smoke or blowing fire on mm-hmm. rocks or whatever, is what kills, yeah, whatever. Pause. Pause everything. From Rory. Uh, is what kills the White Walkers up, instantly. That's what makes them shatter. <laughs> so you mm. thought that the dragon fire straight yeah. from the dragon would... Do something. Do something. Nah, fam. Nah, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Light, it did light, light smoke. Yeah. Night, night King turned around. Ha 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 ha. Light smoke. That was uh-huh. light. Ha <laughs> ha. Light smoke. That was light smoke. That wasn't nothing crazy. But I still felt like he should have been tougher than Night King. I, 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 I agree. agree. I like agree. I think a lot of people felt that way across the board. Yeah, I think so. That was the only his tough shit well, was raising the dead and all them. Like well, yeah, so everybody, we thought we yeah, just killed. He done that before. He's yeah, done that. we've yeah. seen all. Like we've never seen him go hand to hand combat with anybody. Mm. Right? Yeah, no, no. He's not never done it. He's nah. never been touched. Yeah. So mm. he always sits in the back and snaps his fingers back, and such. Yeah. Oh, so he's a delegator. Yeah. Okay. He delegates the beef. I ain't gonna lie. That scene. Um. That scene. I'm pretty sure was early. When Shorty was trapped wherever wherever that was with all of them dead people. Oh, in yeah. the library? Yeah, that yeah. was that was dope. What was her name? Aria. Aria. Fam. Aria. The hero of the show. Fam. Yeah. Aria is she get First busy. Of all, yeah, she get busy. She's a trained assassin though. No, yeah. we, I no. could tell as soon as she bumped into the female zombie, she put that fucking hatchet in her throat. I was yeah. like, oh, no, she's nothing yeah. to fuck she's with. Yeah. No, we yeah. gotta have him we gotta have him yeah. moment for No, Aria Aria's a beast. Aria's a beast. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. John that was supposed to be John Snow. John Snow supposed to be getting all that shit off like that. Jon Snow ain't getting none of that. Fam, Jon Snow let Arya come and do everything. I seen way too His many memes sister. of Jon Snow. The winter is coming and yeah. girls getting hype. I'm like, oh, he ill. His little sister did it. I'll pop. Well, him not. That nigga. Turns out his punch biological right, sister. Right, but, hold up, let the hook rock for Arya. <laughs> this is your plan is for Arya. <laughs> She's a hero. <laughs> no, that's hero. a good record. It's a little weird for a Nas record, but yeah. That's a great record. Yeah. I will never understand why Nas got killed for that song. I won't. No, that was that was. I will. I will of, never. Of get all it. Nas's like attempts at commercial shit, I was never mad at that song. Yeah, and Yo, he, he yeah, picked I the like Polo Don beat in the Polo Don time that wasn't that. Yo, bad you too. know yeah. what? Hey, no, Polo was nice though. Hey, no, I right. meant like when he was in his commercial time commercial out, bag. Yeah. Time out. No, Polo this, was nice. This has gone on for entirely too long. And I don't really ever get in my defend Nas bag, but this has been easily like 25 years I think you're going to bring now. up what I've been trying to bring up for a while. And I got to say it. 
All of those commercial shits are fire. <laughs> Nas is not every a bad one of the songs that they killed say. him for was fire. Y'all Nas, y'all weirdo Nas fans killed him for Uchi Wild. You want to know what I was doing? Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Ah, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Nah, Rory I... wasn't outside, but God damn it. When Uchi Wally was out? He was outside. I was outside. <laughs> no, you weren't. 2001? 100% I was. Yes, you were eight. Was. was not eight no, in 2001, Parks. <laughs> <laughs> I was outside when Uchi Wally came up. I don't know what y'all kill Nas about for that song. Hey, you owe me. I stood quiet for years and watched y'all trash it. You owe me is fire. Fuck out of here. You owe me is one of the best singles released back then <laughs> to me. Shit, when you owe me and Red Man, the goodness was the little blend in the thong song. That was my, that was my little era. That's when I was fucking hitting the, the dance floor Listen, on. Him. Nas has picked some shitty beats before, but I don't think he's the worst beat picker. No, hit the way people make Nas out to be this you know guy that is? hears the worst beats ever. I'm they not kill him when he, They not. kill him for these commercial joints. All of the singles. I really, really like. You know what it is too is like looking back on that. Like I went and listened to Nostradamus not too long ago. It's like this wasn't as bad as people made it out to be. It's, I made it out to be at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like some of that shit was all right. Like Dame Grease did a lot of that shit. Dame's a Nostradamus f- is the only one. There's weird. ten good songs on that album. I'm not talking about the album. I'm oh, you're talking about the song? Yeah, that song was not it. Nasty, nasty, That was shit. That was that. That shit hard. Fuck you. Nah, sorry. Nah, I don't think I'm... He killed it. Yeah. It's just a weird beat for him to rap on. And that the Yeah, yeah. That was the only one where I could understand. But that's where I think a lot of dudes was playing with that sound then. Yeah, they were. That was like a really popular sound. They were trying to do the jiggy sound. That was like a really popular... I hate that term, but... That's what they was calling it at the time. Yeah, that was a this shit hard. Track. Fuck y'all. I mean, it's a it's a <laughs> classic breakbeat. It is hip hop. That's the funny shit about it. Like, but okay. that hook. Was oh, you kill Hov. Oh, wait, oh, wait. wait. You hey, oh, come on, Hov. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, wait. Oh, you want a ball to you fall? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can help, help you with that. With that. <laughs> wait, that was replying to what? What, was, what song was that ball to you fall? One ball. What? What I think of that? What you think of that? What you think of that? Yeah. What you think of that? What you think of that? You hear DJ Rory bringing it back? Let's see. Go ahead. Hit him, hit him with you owe me. Fam, so, uh, I, I don't, don't think, know. I don't think anybody hated this record. Maul. It's the right. one he gets killed Maul, for the most. That's not really. You owe me is recognized. Well, I think uh, I think Hove, yeah, Hove started yeah. that that narrative. You owe me, Shorty owe you for ice. Well, because Hove says Shorty owe you for ice and all that. Other Hero, yeah. all blueprint too. Um, the he, only thing he gets killed for hate me now every now and then. I've nah, seen, I've seen people Fam, say he's. I just want to say I love that. Nah, we went I will from smack the shit out of somebody. To Nas, <laughs> to Nas. I, I fucking love this podcast. Yeah. I just want to let you know that. Well, Only here can you get this transition. Oh, because we were playing hero for Arya, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's get back into Jon Snow. Let's let's let's. Jon Snow listen. pussy. We ain't got to talk about him no more. <laughs> and then he tried to commit suicide by yelling at the dragon. You ain't even try to stab the dragon. Like you just stood up and yelled. I wanted to know when. I niggas, think he was trying to. He was trying to give it to the dragon. But where was people getting dragons? If from? his sister didn't stab that <laughs> knight uh, skeletal, oh, the dragon's gonna fuck him up. Yeah. I'm not saying he was gonna win that battle. Can somebody but. tell me where the people just had the the dragons readily available? Oh no, well, <laughs> readily. Like, where was the dragon store? No, like, whatever you, Daenerys uh, gave birth to them. She's uh, her her family, the Targaryens, uh, are historically birth dragons. Okay. So she is untouched by fire, and the way that dragons are born is by uh, you take their eggs into the fire, and then they are hatched. And she does not get burned mm-hmm. because she's of this this bloodline. Mm-hmm. So she took the eggs that she got as some sort of present when she married Dothraki. Mm-hmm. In the first season, and took them into the fire and gave birth to dragons. Who was that? that and so the, the one dragon got killed by the Night King with a spear. That's yeah. the, Ill, the only ill thing that I he saw that has episode. actually ever done. I saw that episode. I mean, aside from raising the dead and all the other ill shit, but uh, he fell into the lake. Or and then he like, revived the, the yeah. dragon and now had a that. dragon, an that. undead dragon. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. I felt like I just wanted the Night King to be tougher. Me too. I think we all did. He went out a little. Uh, I wanted Jon Snow to be tougher. Yeah. No, well, I'm I didn't not. know that. I didn't know that Jon Snow was supposed to be tough. No, he's tough. He's tough. No, I know. Everybody told me. Yeah. Everybody, I'm not shitting on him. Yeah. I, well, if I, I'm going off his last effort, of... <laughs> his last effort wasn't tough. Nah, him, him and the dragon, uh, Rhaegon or whatever, went up there and did. You know, he they played their part. 
They took down the undead dragon. I saw a lot of people complaining that none of the main characters died, and I thought that was interesting coming from Game of Thrones fans. Yeah, well, that's been a thing. I know, but yeah. did y'all become reliant on that? That's part of my argument about the writing, but I'm not going to See, because that's that. one of the reasons I never really got into it. They because every time somebody tried to explain it to me, all I could say was, yo, don't get attached to everybody. Die. And I'm like, oh, okay, but I mean, what's the story? Right. <laughs> that was the thing. That that, was... I need a little more than, all right, you kill the main character. Got yeah. it. They kill the main character. No, that was the thing. They, they changed writers, I believe, two seasons ago. Season yeah. six. So season seven and season eight, the last two, uh, have a different writer. Well, it's the, it was based on a book. So mm -hmm. the but first six episodes, or first six seasons, I think it might be less than that. I think it might be five, four, whatever. Whatever it is. They started freestyling because the guy hasn't finished the trilogy of books or whatever it is. Yeah. It's it. more than three, I think, actually. But mm -hmm. so they've been freestyling the last couple seasons, essentially. The books were unwritten. So they, oh, so what are they gonna do if the books are ever written? He said that he's gonna kind of mimic what happened on the show. I think. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, that's dope. To keep it accurate. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. dope. That makes How you sense. go from the movie to the book? Nobody wants. To. <laughs> <laughs> I know the book goes to the I'm movie. Not sure that's Who ever wants happened? to watch yeah. the movie and then, well, I guess I can't wait till the book comes out. Well, I mean, if that's what gets you popping, I guess that's what you do. I kept seeing mention of this, uh, I don't know, Cersei? Cer Cersei is... Uh, is the queen. Yeah, she's the queen sort of by default, I guess. Yeah. Uh, all, her, she married the king. She gave birth to uh, children that were from her brother. So they're not actually blood heirs, but they are being treated as blood heirs. But now they're all dead. So she is essentially taking the role as queen. Yeah. But she's on Arya's list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. because Cersei killed Arya's father in oh, season one. I don't well, know. actually, her I don't son. Know. I, don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know how Cersei is sleeping. Or not. Oh, Cersei's a, she's crazy, man. <laughs> Cersei was supposed to send her army to this battle. Yeah. She was supposed to send people to help the Starks. Oh, she phony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but she never sent her people. She yeah. kept her people yeah. in case the Starks won. So now the real battle begins for yeah. like the throne. Correct. And that's why I wasn't so mad at at people saying not enough people died because granted they may have led up to this Winterfell shit for eight seasons, mm -hmm. but I'm sure they have more story to tell. Yes, they, we, <laughs> there's we a lot. Yeah, three more episodes, and I believe they're all over an hour for the last. Yeah, three. they're a buck thirty each. Yeah, I believe. So there's only six episodes this season. They said they spent $15 million on that one episode. I'm sure. Did you see and when, it? <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I read that, I was like, well, why are they taking this show off the air? It's so profitable. Well, they're going to do a, a prequel. Yeah. So got it. Got it. All got is it. not lost yeah. financially for them. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, so I am going to continue to watch. Yeah, least, I got to go back and watch. Yeah, you should. Yeah, it's should. worth it. And I am going to go back. It's more than just dragons and, and, it's and a swords lot of, and shit. Like, there's a true storyline to it. It can get a little dry at times, I'll warn you, but it's 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 worth watching, definitely. Jon Snow is Joe busted. would love the shit. Yeah, he would. I think Joe yeah. would love it. But it's a lot of lofty language and shit. I'm not sure if you're into that. It's a little, like the, I said, it's, it's a little tough to watch the sometimes. First two subs, um, the first two seasons I watched with subtitles. Just to help me navigate through it. Yeah. And a lot of people do that. So after like the first two, when you know who's talking about who, yeah. you might be able to get rid of it. But that would be my advice to anybody who hasn't watched it. Yeah. Try and get through like the first two seasons with subtitles. And don't be afraid to like wiki some shit because sometimes yeah. all the lofty languages and names of families, it, it's important, but it can get lost. I, a I had bit. to do that with Peaky Blinders. I had to watch that so, with subtitles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like sometimes it helps. It, add, like, yeah. it, it helps for the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Watching that Game of Thrones show got me to thinking of how many of those epic TV finales I've been alive to actually witness. Mm -hmm. um, Breaking Bad, obviously. Breaking Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad came on FX? Yes. No, AMC. AMC. Are we sure? I don't yeah, worry. I'm sure about that. Yeah. Yeah, Joe AMC. Button it's definitely podcast, AMC. AMC. No, I'm sure about that. It was AMC. Loud and wrong I'm podcast. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was definitely AMC. But I'm 100% sure about that. Um, the Sopranos. Yeah. That was HBO, right? Yeah. Yes, it was. HBO Which speaking of prequels, they they, they, they were shooting uh, they were shooting Many Saints in Newark by my building uh, the other day. What's that a prequel to? To Sopranos. Oh really? Yeah, David Chase oh, wow. about uh, Tony Soprano's father, Chris's father. Oh shit! No, you gotta make me care again. No, I'm, no, care. I'm caring. Anything yeah. David Chase does, I, I care. I'm, I don't care. I know they gotta make me care again. God damn it! <laughs> um, you know white so, people, white people be attached to some shit. Oh yeah, no, fucking come Sopranos. On. <laughs> Seinfeld Sopranos was a big shit, uh, uh, final episode. Seinfeld was huge. I feel like Friends was huge, but I didn't care. I didn't care about Friends at yeah, that point. Seinfeld hurt care. me. Man, Martin hurt me. Yeah. The yeah, but Martin. Martin. 
Yeah, but they didn't care. They they was you ain't even see Martin and Gina no more. And there was yeah, they wasn't yeah, in the same scene. Did they, did they do it a big over. finale for Martin? I'm asking you. Uh, well, it was the last episode. He moved. He moved out to L.A. for a new job. No, I know the last episode. I'm no, saying like, wasn't. did they make a no. thing the no, way no, 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 like no, no, no. they did the because it was like two it was songs like they, Seinfeld. They, no, they, treat, <laughs> like, they treated Prince that was, whole last season like that. Yeah. Okay, because that was the turbulent season. Fresh Prince was yeah. a big deal. I mean, my mom was a big Seinfeld fan, so I remember that ending. Fresh Prince was big. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's still a more super big one that I'm missing. I mean, The Wire, it was big, but. I nah. feel like they didn't do like a wild ceremony for that. I don't remember it like that anyway. But I, I was I late to the wire, so. Okay. I mean, I watched it in real time, and I don't remember them really doing a big thing around it. It was just like, all right, well, it's over. Yeah. Power was, well, they're, no, they're coming back. <laughs> but I, I won't be back That's what with we're not power. Do. <laughs> yeah, I won't be back with power. Uh, I can't keep up with all of the, the 50 beefs, but wasn't he beefing with the dude from power? Probably the EP or some shit. Fifty beefing with everybody, man. Yeah, no, fifty. We he wake up and decide who he want to beef with. <laughs> Word. Listen, man. In the barrel, we gonna act how we act. We could easily get out the barrel if we stand on each other's backs. Mm. You didn't even think about that before. I didn't. I didn't notice how you get. First out of all, Bills tweeted that whole shit in like 2010. <laughs> Look Damn. it up. Whole stealing Bills shit. Look it up. <laughs> Shout out to my man Bills. Nah. Definitely tweeted that. Hey, listen, Bills can tweet what he want. <laughs> sound, like, <laughs> sound a whole lot iller when Hope said that. <laughs> Crabs in the barrel, but crabs don't belong in the barrel. They never told you that. Mm. See. He didn't say that like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he Joe's did. stupid. Man. Y'all know he did. That. He said it like he, he didn't whisper that. That was the dope. That was the dope rapper. That was the fucking greatest rapper in the world trick where they fucking drag the line to make the stupid people get what they're not supposed to get. Yeah, drag the punch. That's how you yeah, do it. Drag the, the drag the punch. Drag the punch. Crabs in the barrel, butt. Oh, the he butt. Going? When you pause Ooh. in the butt, where is he going with this? <laughs> Crabs don't belong in the barrel. They never told you that. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> they, <laughs> they never told you. <laughs> what the fuck you pointing you at thought me we were in the barrel just going to nah. pull each other down. <laughs> nah, I ain't think that. There's we no could easily thought. get out the barrel if we stand on each other's backs. Yeah. That's a good point. It is a great point. So That's a aha. <laughs> would have hit Hove with a aha. He would have spit that shit at rehearsal. I'd have been like, Hove. Aha. <laughs> He's getting better. <laughs> He's getting well, better. I didn't want to want to be the one to bring oh, it up. Oh man, he did kill that verse though. Right, enough, he did. enough dick eating. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're gonna kill us for this whole shit. Yo, so. I don't but I shouldn't be attached to that. Y'all be dick eating. Yo, what, 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 what you did when he did the Sean Bradley line? Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I felt I was proud. I was proud. <laughs> You're proud. I don't know why I get proud hearing that. <laughs> well, it came on at the B side show one and two, the pump it up freestyle. Oh, that's a good point, fam. Hove really likes that. He well, likes no. that little pump it up freestyle. Come on, give it up, man. Well, I don't want <laughs> classic I don't burst, moment in hip hop. <laughs> I don't want to burst your bubble, but he asked Guru at the end to play whatever. Don't tell him. And Guru knew you was there and played that. That don't mm. burst my just, bubble. Just telling so, you, that wasn't somebody picked twice. So let's get the so Guru out wanted of there. him to call him Sean Bradley. <laughs> all yes. right, well, Guru really likes that pump it up for <laughs> you. We all do. And you say what you say, but on my little list that I sent, Sean where Bradley, he, where he average said, 10 and 10. I know. Ain't none of that shit on my list. Uh, guess what was on that list? You the pump it, it up freestyle? The pump it up uh-huh. with a little LOL. <laughs> with a little LOL. <laughs> no, with the with the shrug emoji. And I told and him, you can't send hove emojis. And you know what else I told him throw on? <laughs> See, that's why I don't need to text my wife. <laughs> you guessed it. <laughs> Blueprint two. The t-shirt and button or uh button up. I don't understand why Blueprint Two wasn't on that shit. Uh cause Nas was coming on stage. <laughs> you could, now we're gonna skip you could just say the first verse. Fam. <laughs> Wait no, was the first. Verse I don't think that? that's fair. That that whole verse is, is. I mean, that whole both verses is bad. They both. Bad. Yeah, I guess so. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, I don't think that's right. That because y'all pieced it up, we can't get a song. But I do understand it. 
Uh, yeah, it's a respect. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> it makes all the sense in the world. That's Nas. Like, come on, you don't do that. That beat is too good. You want to hear it? But if you doing a B side, I bought the flutes this time. Wait, Guru and Guru's there. Guru is the flutes behind you with the flutes. Damn, if Guru weren't on the record, it was still not a flute on that record. If Guru is right there with the flutes. Can't, you gotta unleash some shit. To not play, just holding flutes. Can't y'all? Imagine a nigga unleashing fake. flutes on you though. Kind of like, <laughs> if he had a whole flautist section, <laughs> I don't think niggas really talk. The about whole it. photography pit just turned into the symphony. Yo, man, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, like Sunday service. Exactly. All like right. Sunday service. Always gotta go too far. Can't y'all see that he's fake? The rap version of TD Jakes prophesizing on your CDs and tapes. <laughs> wait, Listen, that was able to come back from that was alone. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> For Nas to be able to come back from that alone makes him a legend. Any other rapper that would have buried him. That that verse, fam. That opening. I like this Nas appreciation fucking podcast we're doing. I love it. I, well, I, I, just, I feel I don't like people like give us the bad rap. They, they, they say we shit on Nas, and that's not true. Yeah. Like. You can't say that we we from New York and have New York bias. I love Nas. I just think that's Ether just not is a t- I hate Ether. That's not what people thought I. Right, well, I, don't I, I hate bring Nas. that up on our big up Nas. No, I'm just saying people <laughs> think people <laughs> think I hate Nas personally on here because I don't like Ether, and I'm like, no, that doesn't mean I don't like him. I just don't and after that Blueprint two Wait. shit, Nas came back with that shit on uh, Godson. That yeah. was also won't break insane. you a crumb off the little bit that he makes. And this and is what you want. I put dollars on mine. Ask Colin Bond. That's how you know he lost though. Like, don't start bringing up Colin Bond and what you did. <laughs> and then someone else came Once in on the ad lib and said, yo, yeah, that's yeah. real. That wasn't even a hole on the ad lib. No, it's real. No, he really did that. <laughs> yo, that's real. When I was out on the road, that's how you judge hope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he was asking questions. No. Nope. <laughs> that's how you know he lost. Ain't that supposed to be absorbed for myself? Yeah. <laughs> and it's time. It's a tragedy. I'm the first. All right, relax. Yeah. Oh, you got to chill out. <laughs> you got to let you know. But let me tell you, fam. If that record would have came on in there, I might have bummed her stage. I might have little mama that. <laughs> I, I, might, I might have little mama. Uh, you would have crossed your arms next to Ho? Damn. First of all, I'm mad. They you should have done me. it on Pump It Up. I don't know why you ain't invite me yeah. up there for Pump It Up. Like, yeah. why I was upstairs jamming? That's yeah, my shit. That's fucked up. That's my shit. That's my record. <laughs> that's me. That is fucked up. I'm Sean Bradley. He is Sean Bradley. <laughs> Joe is Sean Bradley. Yeah. Hey, he J. averaged Rodder. a double double. Yeah. Park, Park's He's a never, legend. Parks never listen when I say I could punch up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hit Sean Bradley. Though. I could punch up. That's a tough person to hit. Yeah, he's a he's it's a, a, tall, it's a tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> What I, I was gonna come up there and do nothing but be out of breath. <laughs> Give me the show. first four bars of the. You can hit with all. No, because the first four bars to pump it up is just stupid. Like, what's all? Oh. <laughs> no, about the remix. After he did, after he was like, oh, great ho, thanks for taking my beat. I'm back again. Oh, no, no. I was 22, nigga. I don't remember none of that shit. <laughs> muscle memory? That muscle no. memory thing. No. no, it didn't work out. I didn't perform that one? And I supposed to be absorbing myself? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Joe was addre- I mean, Jay was addressing everybody in that verse. Yo, Yo <laughs> they, Hold ass the- they Hold- call me. They call me this misogynist. <laughs> but they, they don't call, call me the dude that take dollars and give gifts to the projects and dudes is all <laughs> deposit and checks they put in their pockets. <laughs> all they get in return is a lot of lip. Yeah. Like, Y'all buy shit. He, he, he was buying shit. He was tight. He was hating on the album sales. He was mad. No, nah, Hope was hating. <laughs> and y'all buy the shit. Going up in the hype. Uh, just because he's goofy, it don't mean that he's nice. Yeah, nah, no, he killed just that Just because you don't understand, it don't mean this that he's bright. This is prime hate. That's prime Nas hate. Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. prime Nas hate. That is what makes him nice. That goofy <laughs> <laughs> and the big words and the shit that I don't understand. All that shit is what that's, makes him nice. That's exactly why he's. They have his classes and all and, I know is if, you have, if you're telling now. people to ask Columbine, you're upset. <laughs> I'm not asking Columbine Word <laughs> How you just blurt out In the middle of the verse though? They call me this misogynist <laughs> <laughs> He was fed up Yo Hope had enough Yeah That's when you fed up When you use a word like Misogynist in the middle <laughs> of all that shit And rhyme it word. Like now you freaking Misogynist <laughs> yeah. yeah That's not an easy word to rhyme How you taking that With Donald You gotta relax Yeah You, gotta, you lost We didn't even know that word. <laughs> You lost <laughs> Now you mad nice But you lost <laughs> I'm never getting a B-side ticket again. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> Mo, you better get us in the next beat oh, line, God damn it. <laughs> That's a <laughs> Oh, man, all right. <laughs> oh, he could have did that song, no. <laughs> That's one of our favorite old records. Yeah, we've played that at least twice on this podcast. <laughs> I love that record. He did come and get me. I ain't gonna lie. That was enough for me. Yeah. That was, that was oh, I man. I did it. I removed, oh, man, I'm dick eating. All right. <laughs> Uh, off a of, off a of, oh, for the fifth time. <laughs> we y'all swear it's a title podcast. It's not. <laughs> Yo, Maul and Rory want to be on title so bad. Spark Parks want to be on Amazon so bad. <laughs> like, on Amazon, you know that's one moral enemy. Nah. <laughs> Ooh, Amazon means tall. <laughs> don't, come on, don't touch me after that. <laughs> Don't look Don't look at me To stand with you on that one Yeah right It's your ledge I'm not shooting so good From 37 out uh, 37 Joe, Joe from 3 No 37 <laughs> out yeah. Alright let's get some order in here Alright so let's talk about White people And measles <laughs> We brought them back <laughs> Thank we, we, Thanks know. Coachella <laughs> Look what y'all do For Throwback Thursday Y'all go get a whole Fucking plague And bring it back oh, man. <laughs> You don't want the measles keep you on your toes? <laughs> Fuck no. The measles. The measles. How's there a measles <laughs> outbreak in 2019? That's fair. Coachella. <laughs> it's all Coachella. No, because all the white people were scared of the the the, 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 the needles. Well, can y'all give some background no, info for the people, that, the people All right, so that a lot of people didn't get immuniz- immunizations <laughs> because they felt like... Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> Cow. Huh? <laughs> Cow. <laughs> <laughs> These fans will not let me forget that I corrected you. Oh, the Kyler Murray. He's yeah. the Kyler. Kyle. <laughs> yeah, what y'all did. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you, niggas. Kyle just sounded right. But you were saying it. Anyway, so uh, because people stopped getting immunizations, immunizations. It's hard to say for some reason. Immunizations. 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 Uh, measles has made its way back, and now it's here. There's an outbreak. But who said In New that? York. No, it's happening. There's 700 cases of measles. But who okay. said it? Uh, the news. See. Come on, they don't lie. Well, Pharrell told you I was something in the water. Y'all niggas wouldn't listen. Oh, that's a good that's point. Bro. Wow. It was the measles. And Chad Same was looking weekend. sad. So yeah. yeah, it was the measles in the water. Damn, he was sad about the measles. And Chris, yeah, Chris, Chad. Chris. Chad knew what was really happening behind the scenes. Exactly. You saw his face. And Chris, the measles face. Chris and Trey was together. So. Mm. So that means polio's coming next. <laughs> polio. <laughs> polio's making his way back. <laughs> we might have to get shots again. We might have to get re immunized. The measles, it's the measles is, is white people wing worms. <laughs> nah, white people get mad ringworms. Do y'all? Yeah, measles is like a strong right. I looked at my mom like she was such filth when I got ringworms. <laughs> like, the funny shit is you're, you're the you, filth. How like, you let, but how do you let this happen to me? Come on. You was outside now, digging and now, shit. Yeah, now you, now you sitting here rubbing cream in my fucking head. You are a horrible mom. We had a fucking snake. <laughs> I was going to kick your ass. I'm joking. <laughs> no, you better call my mom back. No, I stand on this face. You better. I'm going to leave, though, because I don't know why I'm she called me. Like, why she leave with yeah, me? Yeah, I know. Because like, you I'm let me say this. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> no, but listen. <laughs> me- measles are back. We know this because Parks is telling us that the news said it. Yeah. And if the news is saying it, then it must be true. That's true. I'm still waiting on y'all to tell me what. where's anthrax. Where did it go? I left. Uh, left nah, and left see, with the Bush administration. Enough. Because <laughs> they nah, the government they just put it back in the bottle. Yo, the Bushes, man. <laughs> <laughs> the government was but like, that's how I know Trump is shelf. insane. Everyone's looking at George Bush like, God was all right. Word. <laughs> Look at him smiling. Yeah, he, he was, was happy. He, he's <laughs> dancing with Michelle Obama. He, he looks like a great guy. He's so bad. <laughs> well, no, now when you got fucking Anyways. Agent Orange. <laughs> I just think there's mad shit that they just. Come up with out the blue to make you, us go and get some say. shit done to us. Like oh, measles, of course. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's a good point, fam. I'm not getting measles at almost forty. <laughs> Sorry, did they? Did they? Are they in my kitchen? Please call me pussy if I get the measles I this month. Yeah, <laughs> like if everyone cops. How the do you measles, even acquire the measles, Coachella? <laughs> yeah, Coachella. Yeah, get the herp alert. Need the measles alert. That's why they canceled uh, the Woodstock shit this week. Mm. Measles, because measles. They knew measles would be crazy running up. That's fucked up to cancel that, man. Woodstock, and I was kind of excited about it, but me too. Uh, That's my home. Woodstock, not my hometown, but it's right outside my hometown. Woodstock fifty was canceled because looking at whatever plans they had detailed, the uh, organizers did not believe 
that they had enough time or money to put on a capable show. <laughs> they said that they were concerned that it wasn't enough space to hold 100,000 people, but they hold 100,000 people regularly for NASCAR. So and that's with like cars driving really fast everywhere. I think I'm just glad they didn't fire fence the shit. I was I'm getting space, no. space and time and money just for what they had laid out. It just didn't seem doable, and they referenced the Fiery Festival. And if that's a reference, then back now, out. I'm from over there, man. There's there's places to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I just watched Castle you Rock. You stay right there on the lake, man. You'll be all right. Thanks, Parks. Yeah, man. Problem they solved. Stay, yeah, they, they would have had me involved. Crib. Yeah, they could stay. Yeah, definitely. Everyone could stay there. See, pull up. They could easily get out the barrel if they stay on each other's back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, Rory? Crabs go in the ocean. They did a festival I'm once. Joe. I don't know if you knew. I, I knew. They did a festival once at that and same and venue in the '60s, right after Woodstock. That had six hundred thousand people there. They could fit a hundred thousand there, maybe. I. Right. Yeah, but. LSD and Molly are different. That's a good point. I don't know. Well, not that. pills. Yeah, that was I don't pills. know if I'm rolling with that crowd up there. Yeah, everybody's with those crowds. strung out in the opioids. Uh, since we're talking about shit that's that's happened before, I want to go back to one of our segments with uh, a boogie when we read guys trying to get their girls back and we were rating them. Mm. I would like you guys to revisit your rating on a boogie because I did see ten hours ago he got his family back. A round of applause. Give, give me a round of applause, please. Hey. Yeah, we gave his uh, apology uh, about, I think I made a game of a nine or something like that. I, I like his apology. High. At least I just want to say when you get your family back, you automatically get back to the 10.0. Yeah, it worked. Across the board. That, Flawless. That, that makes it a 40 from our, from our judge board. Yeah, we had to revisit that one. I want to applaud A Boogie for getting his family back, man. That's yeah. great. Yeah, salute. Yeah. It worked. Salute, salute to that guy. Yeah. Hats off. <laughs> yeah, man. Sometimes you gotta do the IG caption. Uh, do you guys care about uh, Meek? Uh, Meek's judge still on the bullshit, ignoring the request for him to go to Toronto to watch the playoffs. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we. I'm sick of this judge. The judge is yeah, is just being a, an asshole at this point. He's hating. Yeah. She he or is it a he or she? She. She's hating. Yeah. For, for all this, he might as well did the boys some inverse, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Got it out the way. Yeah, nigga. Most town Philly ain't so bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Is that the same judge on the cat? I thought they was removing that judge. Oh no, that judge is still there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she's a bitch. And which is fucked up because I would like <laughs> to see uh Meek on the other side. Drake on one side and them arguing and just, doing a little yeah, rapper it's, thing it's, during the playoffs. Hands. It's just it's yeah. exciting. It brings it brings some energy. Yeah, and I would have loved to see Meek's face when they was getting smacked in game one. Yeah, that <laughs> that would have been fun. Yeah, that's always great. Drake always looked like the saddest puppy dog when they see him getting smacked. <laughs> <laughs> he don't be looking like this confident guy. No, who who does when their team is getting blown out? Uh, I'm an ex fan dog. Yeah, me, me too. That's my, per- that's my permanent face. Right. Dolphins fan. Yeah, Lakers fan. Rough. Yeah, got to just. My front. face has been pretty all, blank all, all season. The, all of the confidence is a front. Um, <laughs> I would like to hear that Meek and Boys the Men's song. <laughs> Get Sean on the phone, man. I'm cool. Where well, that's Malls, man. Who Sean? Yeah, my guy. Shout out to Sean, man. Shout out to Sean. Niggas bonded over some Joe jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. Sean Stockman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. What else is really important? Since y'all don't care that me can't get into Toronto to watch the playoff game, we're sad about that. Well, why didn't Drake do his connections like he says in the verse? Because Drake can't get nobody into Toronto, like he keeps saying. <laughs> I th- come on, he's definitely got a called Norm. I don't know what their whole yeah right Norm on <laughs> Twitter. Norm. A senator. I don't know how the whole Canadian judicial. Know. Do they have a queen system. over there? You know, you know I go both of them went to Instagram. I'm ignorant. <laughs> don't, mind, don't mind me, guys. All right. Uh, let's see. Meek denied entry for the playoffs. Uh, I wanted to read y'all this fucking... Uh, I wanted to read y'all this Walmart flick stuff because everybody is trying to get into the TV streaming game business company thingamajig. Uh, I also read that the Russo brothers... I think that's their name or not. Uh, Endgame was the last Marvel movie that they were going to do. Mm. Really? You read that as well, Savon? Yeah. Yeah. 
Interesting. Uh, okay. Walmart planning to launch original TV shows on Voodoo starting with Mr. Mom Reboot. Uh, now, the Walmart-owned service is planning to launch family-friendly television shows as a way to become a competitor in the ever-growing street, uh, streaming TV market. These include a reboot of the 1983 comedy Mr. Mom, debuting as early as June 2019, a science fiction show, and a police procedural drama similar to CSI. The difference is that Walmart will not require a monthly subscription to access these shows. That's interesting. But will instead generate money through new, quote, new advertising technology. This is described as, quote, shoppable content. Datagate. (laughs) Datagate 100%. Yeah. This is described as, quote, shoppable content with television shows that can directly lead to customers buying products online. Uh, And it says, in quotes, not only will viewers see ads, they will have the option to buy products seen in shows such as paper towels or soft drinks. So they have new advertisement technology. They tapped into the FBI guy in the phone. Told you that's what they're doing. They just want to start marketing to specific homes. This whole shit, everyone getting a streaming platform, it's basically now it's just TV, but in a different way. Yeah, it's a different channel. Like, have you noticed that all the... Uh, streaming platforms are kind of getting watered down as far as their quality of content. I have. I mean, it's what have almost, you watched on it's Netflix lately anything. that's it's been a, fire? So I'm going I'll be honest content. with you. It, I, it, it's been a struggle to find something good on Netflix. Yeah, yeah I didn't like Highwaymen. I didn't watch didn't that. Watch oh, with uh, Woody Harrelson. Yeah, oh, it was a movie. Yeah, I ain't watching. Well, he wasn't feeling it. No, nigga, I'm no, not. I wasn't feeling it. Not a Highwayman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch that. I want to watch that actually. Though. I'm not laying in my bed naked. I, I, fucking I, hey, <laughs> see what the highway men are doing. <laughs> First of all, the fuck I ever see the in their clothes on you. Fucking neon, no. no. fucking neon green and Timbo's. I already hit his bed. Butt ass watching Netflix. <laughs> put, some, yeah. put some drawers on. No, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Who the fuck lays in bed with drawers on? Uh, the humans. <laughs> the mall is such a fucking Bronx. I can't drug sleep. With, I can't sleep with clothes on though. But I can lay in the bed and watch TV. People close, but when it's time to sleep, I'm butt ass. You'll never get like <laughs> you'll never get like the uh, the balls wedgie, the balls wedgie <laughs> from the from the from the underwear. Yo, no, you gotta get bigger that drawers. Is, that is the worst <laughs> feeling in All the right, world. You gotta get bigger drawers. When you lay in the yeah. it's, time to, it's time to go up a size. Yeah, yeah. No, it's time to go up a size, nigga, <laughs> and take the boy shorts off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ch- Joe wearing a dog. <laughs> I hope you wear a boy shirt. <laughs> That's a fucking bro. It's time to go up inside, Joe. I've been there, bro. Trust me. Keep washing and drying them shits. It's like, yo, fam, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get a new batch. Me and these jokes get kind of small, man. No, oh, see, stupid ass me. I, I like when you wash them a few times and it's tighter. Like, ooh, I got the eyes. <laughs> now you gotta get the long, the long box of briefs. Holy shit. They got the super long ones. Yeah, there. but when you lay in the bed, like, how do you get in bed? Like, I gotta jump in bed and then I just... Uh, lean into my position all in like one or two moves so that leads to the little ball wedgie now nah, you gotta get the big underwear you gotta, and then you lay it in bed realizing you gotta pick your like lower back, back up yeah. a little bit to- <laughs> but when you get the ball and wedgie no, and there's no, no tough yo, way to do that yo, like you no, gonna look like you gonna look like a, like a, a sucker any way you do that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta wait for your girl to go to the bathroom yeah, or something man. Yeah. Yeah. or just take them shits off at that point like, well that's that what? exact see that's yeah. when I take them off and I throw them in Brooklyn's face ah <laughs> <laughs> Little dog strip shell. <laughs> All right, Peter. I hope you're listening, dog please. Strip show. Get Brooklyn out of this environment. Yo, yo, we laughing, but I think it's funny that as soon as I said ball wedgie, all y'all knew what it was. Y'all nasty. Absolutely. Too. Of course, you we have balls. You know what wedgie is. To get out that one. <laughs> that shit is not the. It's not great. Uh, all right, off a of ball ball wedgie. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't on the docket. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. We was on uh, Segway Kings. We was on- <laughs> hey. Killing it. Listen, ball yeah. wedgie get us out of there every time. <laughs> We were talking about Walmart flicks. What what do y'all th- what do y'all think about them jumping and jumping in this game? Walmart is there enough either. room? Is there enough room for them in this game? Yeah, it's getting saturated, bro. No, I think there is. The interesting I, I, I part. Is anybody here subscribe to, to a specific part of the country? I don't even subscribe to the Amazon one. I heard there's good content there. I'll be honest with you. I have Amazon. I have everything. I I'm maxed I have out. Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, 
Spotify, Apple. I don't have traditional Tidal. cable, so I still have uh, HBO, fucking CBS, Showtime, Stars. I have way too many subscriptions. I'm not doing another one. You got money parts. I'm, I'm certainly not going rushing to run to the Walmart voodoo. Yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm cool with family friendly content. I'm uh, curse nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cool and all that. I just thought it was interesting that, uh, see, and this is why, and we won't talk about this now. We'll probably talk about it on the road or on tour or something. I thought it was interesting that they said, no, we're not charging for any of this. We're just going to spy on you. We're only, sell your data. We're only going to sell you microwaves. Use this new advertisement technology, which, you know, speaks to the point I be making. These A lot of these companies, and, you know, they just under they undervalue. They 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 use the ad shit as a smoke screen is what I'm saying. Yeah, I feel like yeah they use the ad shit as a smoke screen, and they getting they they getting money in so many other different ways. And for Walmart to just come out and say no, we're not even charging you. Yeah. This is how valuable the ad shit is to us. Yeah. That nah I have it. Yeah, I'm making whole production, producing whole TV shows just to give you an ad. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was interesting. Uh, Spotify hit 100 million paid users. Give us a round of applause. Yeah, round of applause for Spotify. We here. Gang, gang, gang. It was all 100 million of those. Uh, that was us. Uh, <laughs> clap for them. Crabs don't belong in the barrel. They never told you that. If you guys just like, if we just got on each other's back. Huh? If we just got on each other's back. We could pull each other out the barrel. Yeah. Because crabs go in the ocean parks. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> so they're not going to act naturally in a barrel. That's a good point. <laughs> Why nobody thought of that? I never thought of that. H to the. <laughs> you ever took the lid off the pot once you was bowling some crabs? I tried, I tried yeah, that I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> One of them shits was aggressive. They took my old nose off. Hey, how you get up here? <laughs> I mean, was on each other's remember back. where you at? You getting eight? <laughs> Big ass cockroach. I wouldn't mind some crab. I want some crabs. We need to have crab night uh, or crab day or something by the pool. Down. Like, for the dudes. Always down for crabs. For the dudes. <laughs> dudes and crabs come Why through. I gotta be for the dudes. <laughs> Who should it be for? <laughs> like everyone that's there. <laughs> oh, okay. Who else is there? Not just dudes. Oh, bitches? <laughs> I don't just refer to them as that. <laughs> they call me this misogynist. <laughs> Yo, Joe was an idiot. <laughs> All right, I'm off for that, man, because I'm going to the next B-side. All right, um, and I was joking. Of course they're not bitches. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, what else do we have? Walmart flicks, the gentleman streaming game. Y'all don't give a fuck. Uh, that's all we got there. Do y'all care about the New Orleans rapper girl putting her five-year-old in a lift to go five miles up the street, and then the lift driver drove that kid straight to the police, uh, police precinct? She was a rapper? Yeah, her name was Game Over from New Orleans. That's ironic. Yeah, because the game was over. Her parents, <laughs> she put her, how old was the baby? Five. Five. She year put old. a five-year-old in a lift up the street a few miles, and the lift driver uh, went straight to five the precinct. Five miles is not up the street. Is that illegal? It, it should, should be. It should should be. be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it is or by the books, but it should be. What is wrong with people? I don't you know. know what's funny? I just shout out to that lift. Driver, I feel though. bad. Put my girl in a lift. Yeah, no, that that <laughs> shout out to the lift driver. But today I was in, I was in the crib and I was like laying down and it, it was a baby like in the, the next apartment He's crying for like an hour and a half. I swear to God, I was like really close to calling the police. Mm. Like, cause I'm like, I right. it was like cr- like screaming, crying, and this was an infant. Like, this wasn't a, like a five four year old. This was an infant. Right, and I'm feeling so bad because I'm like, yo, what if that baby is being abused? Like, I don't know, but I know it's not. Na- it's not normal for a baby to cry for an hour and a half straight. Yeah, like there's yeah. something wrong with that. But then I'm like, damn, if I call the police, like they gonna know who who called the cops? Like, because the police told me one time who called the cops on me. Mm. It's like, yeah, this person right here. To. No, they, but they they have call ID. Like they have your number. Your number and name pops up in the police database as soon as you call the police. I know what the person that they're calling on is not supposed to tell you that. You're the person that's calling on them. Yeah, the police are not supposed to tell you that. Exactly. But the cop told me who called the police. Trust me, I, I inquired a bunch in Edgewater. Hey, who, 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 who sent you over here? So I'm like, damn, I don't want to have beef with the neighbors ended. now. But uh, right. we saw how that one ended. What? What? Old boy across the street. Oh, he lucky. <laughs> he, he, he lucky. I almost beat that guy's ass across the street. Total? 
No, no, this uh, is in Edgewater. In Edgewater. What happened? He he had called the cops for what again? Music? Noise was every it the day. Dog? He called but every how did day. I end up in the dude's face? I was in the living room. I don't know. I ran outside when I saw you was in his face. But Joe was wilding in Edgewater. <laughs> Not really though. Listen, I, li- I don't think Joe I was, was wilding in Edgewater. <laughs> Joe set off two big ass fucking fireworks on like August third <laughs> at, 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 at three Mr. in the morning. Shit by a month Wait, at three in the morning. Nah, like, it was, but the it was not Joe three doing? in the morning. It was fucking midnight. No, it was a hot it, summer no, day. No, we were was, on the rooftop. No, was, I had fireworks from Sumter, South Carolina. It was three in the two morning. years later, from Fourth of July. I, what do you want me to do? So you knew they would it work. Was like three yeah. in the morning. You got to get them off. I'm like, yo, yeah, Joe, they go bad. This a small ass. That's my point. But no, that parks. It was it was industrial fire. Works. Yeah, it was the good shit ones. you need to be like in the middle of yeah. Central Sounds Park. Sounds like some shit I gotta light. Yeah, yeah you don't let that hit off in a fucking like, residential area. Ma, everyone was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just me. No, it was just you in August. It was just you. Word, I com- promise com- you. Came straight to Miles, yo. But they knew what you doing They're up like, there, yo, Joe. Joe and nothing goes on in Edgewater, so yeah. it's a fucking firework goes off. They know who it is. No, but we had Joe tripping. No, again. but I had the neighbor. The, the neighbor across the street was the dude that called the cops. For every little thing, and he was that one of them emboldened uh, white, emboldened white dude. So he called the cops and come outside and dig to say something about it. I think that's yeah. what happened. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. So he came out like, "You can't you fucking keep your dog off my fucking the fam." Well, yeah, it was also it was like one p.m. in the afternoon. I'll knock you right out in the, <laughs> in the middle of the street, and that's gonna be the end of it. You better watch yourself. <laughs> Fuck. Um. All right. So I think I think that's everything. Did yes. we get to something else? I think so. Is too. We forgetting something? No, I think we're good. Are we? Uh, we got to go tour tomorrow. We gotta that's go, true. We got to go pot on yeah, the road. Save something. Jesus Christ, I forgot about that. Oh, uh, prayer, <laughs> prayers to Larry King. Well, oh, yeah. He, he had a cardiac arrest or something yeah, like that. But, he, oh, but he's good. Heard he's in good spirits, but prayers to him on his recovery. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it's true. No, wait. Before we get out of here, hold up, man. We This is not a sports podcast, and we're getting the sleepers. But, Parks, you don't think you owe me and more an apology? I said best of six. I said... Of Bucks what? and six. Oh, the Celtics. Yeah. It's only listen, one game. listen. Only one game. Three games in, I'll give you an apology. More. No, I. I More. I, I picked the Celtics. But, but no, Parks ain't really feeling me. Oh. No, I'm not. We, we were on the bus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said Bucks and seven. And Bucks that, and six. Said, no, he said Bucks and six. Oh. I said Celtics and seven. I said Celtics. And that's and six. fine. There's none. There's no wrong answer there because we don't know. Right. And then Parks said, "Greek freak is the man." He and is. then I said. He is the man. But Horford and Baines, they not letting Greek Freak mm-hmm. come just dunk all over him. I said Horford, Baines, and Brad Stevens. And I got in a moment of transparency, let me be honest, Parks laughed me out the van. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, 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 Horford and Baines. Mm-hmm. Greek Freak is going to put his nuts off. Yeah. He gave me all of that. You were on your phone. I was just sitting there sulking, hurt, like <laughs> embarrassed. Jalen Brown actually put his nuts in a... Uh, Next so now that I'm now that I'm face to face with Parks, I'm here. It was indeed Baines and Horford who kept Greek Freak from Greek freaking. One game, from it being was, a freak. No, 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 one game, one dunk. It was only one dunk. Okay. Uh, I think what was he three for a horrible, horrible performance. He had a terrible game. He will. He will only, adjust though, in Parks. Of course, he will, he will adjust. adjust. Yeah. I'm only bringing it up because when I said Horford and Parks Baines made it like it was no to way. Parks, yeah, it was no, yeah. He made it seem like there was no way that was happening. Joe, you and your sports takes are stupid. Well, they are, usually. and that's not going to happen. No, that'd be more. That don't be me. <laughs> Russ is still the best player in the NBA. You're right. We just, just leave it alone. <laughs> we just leave it alone. But okay, so 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 game. I will absolutely apologize after game three. If no adjustments, if he doesn't but play better. But he's going to adjust, and he's going to play better. But yeah. what that got to do with the fact that Horford and Baines when he starts did, dunking all over them again. Then you guys apologize to me again. So what are we doing? I'll just wait. We'll okay, save an apology. I, wait, so he got, they got to they got to do that for a whole series. Yes. Come on, Park. Oh, that's not no, they fair. Do. That was they the argument. To, they have to stop him. They have to, they have to shut him down. Like if he goes on the average thirty four and fifteen the rest of the series, like yeah. they didn't do a, a great job. Now if the Celtics win, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, because winning. I have no problem admitting I'm wrong. But can I ask you something? Why 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 are people kill me for the, my rush take? When the exact <laughs> no seriously, just think about it for a second. When the exact thing that they gave him the MVP no, award for not. is what he's been doing the last three years. So he was the best in the league when he did it the first year, but he's been doing it for the last three years, and he's not the best anymore. 
Nope. Like y'all gave him the MVP award because of him averaging a triple double. But MVP doesn't mean best in the league. I mean, I see what Joe's saying, but what does MVP mean? It means most, most valuable, valuable player to your team. team. It doesn't mean best player in the league. The year that he won, all them years that all these niggas won, they're gonna say LeBron's the best in the league. Oh, get the fuck out of here! But they will. It's the same reason that uh, listen, Mike's supposed to have more MVPs. Kobe's supposed to have more That's MVPs. True. But MVP means something different. So. It didn't happen. Russ averaged that triple double and it was amazing. We had never seen it since Oscar Robinson. Mike was and Mike should have got MVP every year. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. But Russ did that triple double shit. We had never seen it. We awarded him. We awarded no, we've him. seen it. Well, with once Oscar before. Robinson, I I wasn't lying. But no, I'm just saying it happened once before. We've never seen nobody do it three years in a row. I know, but that's the same reason I say that James Harden shouldn't get the MVP this year. James scores the ball with the best of anybody in the world who scores the ball. This season, he had to do it uh, for a longer period of time over a longer stretch. But that wasn't new because I've seen James put the ball up at that type of clip. The same way I've seen Russ uh, pad the stat sheet all over the place. I think people kill you, Maul, because you ignore some of the other stuff. It's no, I, 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 I you know said, that you said okay, efficiency let me ask you matters none, and that that to me I don't care about when you're when you because to me Russ has to do everything for that team, so he's not going to be very efficient when I have to do something is going to lack somewhere. I'm not, I can't be great at every every category for my team. I'm doing everything that I can, and he he is. Here's my thing: if you take. James. Russ has been playing like he had to do everything for that team, even when he didn't have to do everything for that team. But which that's is why because that's the type of player yeah. he is. Yeah, okay. He's just aggressive. But he got to he got to lose some of that. But but so, here's yeah. here's my thing: if you take Russ off of OKC, do they make the playoffs? No, but if you put Russ on, the hold on, hold on, Knicks, do they hold make on. The do you take do you do you take if you take James off of the Rockets, do they make the playoffs? No. no. I don't think the Rockets would make the playoffs if James Harden went. So nah. if they had Chris Paul. Chris Paul was Eric injured from Chris Paul was I'm, injured I'm not from talking about I'm not talking about injuries. I'm talking about if oh, everyone I'm talking is, about the season. I'm talking about if everyone is healthy, but you just remove these players off of these teams. I'm not sure that Chris Paul himself is bringing the uh, Rockets to playoffs. He took the cl- what? He took. He was taking the Hornets to the playoffs with no fucking with nowhere near the talent. How many times did the Hornets go to the playoffs? When, when CP was there, they yeah. went. Um, they went a, a, few, a lot of years. They went. Um, I wouldn't say a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. Different. You can't tell an age difference in his game. Who's the AFC? He's just sharing who, the ball with a who, with a ball dominant who, player who's now. Who's the AFC on the Spurs? I mean, uh, on the, in the West, the Spurs were Clippers. seventh. Clippers, yeah. Clippers were eighth. Do I think that the Rockets without Come James on, the Harden? Clippers went to the playoffs, man. Yeah, you but think the, that, you think CP couldn't take that Rocket team to the playoffs without James Harden? Do you think OKC would have went to the playoffs without Russell Westbrook? Well, they wouldn't. We're gonna have a real conversation about Paul George one day. I'm not. Uh, we gonna do it right, right now. <laughs> no, no, we ain't gonna do it right now. But we gonna have a real conversation about him one day. Uh, what I will say, uh, and I'm gonna just end this real quick. And I meant to get this off when we was talking about uh, Meek not being able to attend the playoffs out there. But Kawhi Leonard is a man. Oh yeah, but mm. I said I, I said we were gonna get that this Kawhi. I thought he was gonna show people that he's better than we advertise him to be. But and he's listen, doing this in New Balance sneakers, listen, by the way. I don't know if you know that. No, he gets all the respect in the world yeah. for that. Have you ever played in New Balances? <laughs> no. Nobody has. He, he, like, <laughs> this nigga's a mutant. Like <laughs> this, this nigga Kawhi is a fucking mutant, man. I'm telling y'all, he's not he's not human. But it's it's, it's such a difference watching. And and listen, I, I was shitting on DeRozan to have whenever that was, but DeRozan is nice. Uh probably, oh, yeah. probably top what, twenty twenty five in the league. It's a top real, 20. a real difference when you're watching top 20 and top five mm-hmm. like that dude is a man like a man man strong you have to play and defend all that jokey jokey shit uh Embiid and them niggas was doing in the first round mm-hmm. no it's a whole lot of uh respect being given out in the post game post game interviews yeah Kawhi is one of those players that I've heard other N- NBA players talk about like yeah he's he's the one I would love him on the Knicks yeah, like he's he's different. He's different, and and he's so. The, the thing I love about him most is that he, you don't know if he's up thirty or down thirty. Mm. Like if you look at him, you don't know if like he's winning or he's losing the game. Like that's what I love about him most. He's just steady the, the whole season. Like, but he's he, yeah. I think Toronto's in a they're in a good spot. You know, me too. I think that's everything, guys. Oh, so too. before we go, I want to uh, say rest in peace to Staff Sergeant Jeremy Plain. He was a big fan of ours. He passed away recently. His um 
his friend reached out to us. That really yeah. upsets me when uh when fans of the show and the podcast yeah. move on to that next 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 phase and they transition on. Uh we meant to shout out in, in uh Dallas homeboy. And yeah, we never, I believe and we yeah. Bo. Bo, Bo is his Bo, yeah. Yeah. His, I, his I was happy to um I chatted on DM with, with his friend for, for a while. It was good to meet him in person. Mm. Um, yeah, I was happy we got to meet those guys. Yeah, I was glad so many people at the Dallas show came up and just made mention of Bo and, you know, that he fucked with us. And that's touching. Yeah, yeah it is. That stuff is touching. Uh, shout out to Al G again, man. Rest in peace. Uh, his service was Al G. last week. I hear it was amazing, amazing. What a great celebration in life. I heard a lot of cards going on. Al, if you were watching, I'm sure you'd be proud. Uh, so rest in peace to Al G. And I think that's everything, man. I want to thank everybody out there for listening to us yet another week. Uh, uh, nothing else. That's yeah, it, right? Man. ATL, Florida. We'll see you this week. Yes, sir. ATL, Georgia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Let's let's say a nice prayer. Good day, everybody. Home, back to their families, safe and sound. Another week. I know these are short, quick re- weeks, especially when we used to rap tours. But still, you're gone. You're gone. Yeah, the road yeah, right. is the road, yeah, and you got to get back. So, I mean, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so make this one last because it's all that we have. Uh, for now, we bid you adieu. Arrivederci. Peace. Adios. See you later. Deuces. We're out of here. One.